unfortunately, it continues to decline and more people try to enter um, the U.S. through Florida. Well, you know, we're wondering a lot of people say this, uh, it's like this hating thing with like cycling. Hey, Russell. Cool cat. How's it going? Here comes Mr. Stickley. Hey, What's Justin. Up? What's up, Russell? Cool cat. Ugh. You over there with David? Yeah, he's got a couple more minutes of drive and then he's off. Okay. Not he said problem. he's got about two or three minutes left. Just trying to finish that job up he was doing. Did you get your ship? Yes, I did, and I got it posted. It was touch and go. It started to snow while I was down there, and then it kind of halfway cleared up, and it turned out to be a nice video. Right now, okay. the the sun is way out. You know. Yeah, it's it's been nice and sunny here. <clears throat> it's uh, after it warmed up a little bit. It's really nice outside right now. Well, it's never warmed up here. It's a it's a it's a whopping thirty degrees here. Uh, it is seventy four right now. Uh, I'm jealous. But it feel it feels uh really nice out it actually feels like a spring day outside so <clears throat> oh cat how's it going what's going on mr skyfly garth frud hey 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 garth what's up joe Hello, Tanya. Hey, Paul. How are you? Oh, fuck. Fell over. No, that's not hot, cool cat. That's like really nice weather. It, it gets hot. When it's hot, it's like in the 80s and 90s here. Almost 100. That's like that's like a nice day when it's not hot, but it's not cold neither. It's just like perfect. Cool cat says seventy five, eh? So that's hot, maybe. <laughs> uh, that'd be twenty three degrees Celsius. Cool cat. What's up, Lance? Hey, Lance, how's it going? It's got to be about uh, 201 out there on the West Coast. Yep, still pretty early there. Yeah, I don't know if he's still at work or not, or he might still have an hour or so at work. Uh, no, I know he teaches, I would... but I don't know what time the kids get out. No, most schools it's like two thirty, three o'clock. Okay. Or two, two, three o'clock, depending on air, what time they go in the morning and all that. I would so, say his school's probably just getting out. 
So you recovered the phone. Yeah, he actually stopped by the house and dropped it off last night. Okay. So he was uh she was uh she was on the phone with the bus driver and uh I told him exactly where he was at when he was on the phone with her. He goes, How'd you know that? I said, I'm tracking the phone. I've been watching you since fucking <laughs> two thirty. Driving around and uh, driving around going all these places. And uh he was like, Oh, he goes, I was trying to get into the phone, but I kept asking for a fingerprint. And I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, but yeah, he was nice enough to come by the house and drop it off. I told him, I said, you didn't have to come by. You could have just let Thomas get it in the morning. It wasn't a big deal. As long as I knew that you had the phone there, I'd have been fine with it. Was Thomas a little bit embarrassed? No. He he just walked in and told me yesterday, he goes, oh, I forgot my phone on the bus. And then just went into his fucking room like it was no big deal. Oh, <laughs> I was like, bro. I was like, did you try to call your phone? Well, how am I going to do that? I said, with my phone or Kelsey's. What do you mean? How are you going to call? Him? I said, you're acting like you don't give a shit. And he was like, well, I don't know. I was like, I was like, give me your freaking email and your password, and I'll track it. So I added his phone to my account so I can track it. Apparently, one of the elementary kids found it, picked it up, and gave it to the bus driver. So, <sighs> but yeah, he. I, yeah, he, he like I said, he was nice enough to drop it off. He didn't need to, though. As long as I knew he had it, I was fine with it. Well, you know what you could do it. is take the phone away from Thomas and tell him when he starts giving a shit, you give it back to him. I told him the last night, I said, next time, keep track of your shit. I said, and don't act all nonchalant when you lose it. I said, because if you lose that fucking phone, you're not getting another one. I said, I'll tell you that right now. I said, I'm not just going to keep replacing phones because you want to be all uh, about having your phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I figure, Lance. Yeah, it's about time they get out of school now. Our kids get out at 2 o'clock, and then they're usually home by 2.30. Ah. Uh. Large spider going there. And stomp that bitch into the ground, cool cat. <clears throat> You're like a thousand times bigger than it. Fuck around, dude. If a spider comes in the house, I find a spider. It's dead. <laughs> I had one running up the wall one day, and I punched it right into the fucking wall. My oh, fist. really? <laughs> running up the wall, I fucking just punched it right into the wall and spidered that bitch all over the wall. <laughs> like, uh-uh. I don't play with spiders. Little creepy-ass things. Cool Cat says he's super stoked about his PC. He really thought he was give he I'd given him myself a headache. No, I actually learned what to do in the case of uh, what he did. Anyway, I, I was talking to AZ about it earlier. David told me how you fix it. If it does that, uh, I learned something new to another, something else new today. It's actually not that hard of a fix, to be honest with you. Because he knew exactly what was wrong with Cool Cat's computer, but he's been so sick that he he didn't have the energy to be in the chat the other night. He was listening, but he just, you know, he was really down, so <clears throat> he didn't feel good, so he, he didn't have the energy to uh, be typing in the chat. He was just listening.
<laughs> oh, fucking cool cat. I'm not even keen on the big ones, though. This bastard has a tattoo and, a, and an appendix scar. Uh. No, David was going to try to help me with that program, and then He he never used it before, and then I started playing with it after I hung up the phone with him. Finally figured it out after three days of fucking with it. <sighs> Program was a pain in the ass. I'm one of those ones that I, I, I don't like to give up. I, it annoys me if I can't figure it out, and I keep trying and trying. Eventually, I'll get it. So it's only 30 degrees there, Paul? Paul. Yeah, it's 30 degrees here. Yeah. I didn't know if you were there, still there or not. Uh, you can get Call of Duty to run. Huh. Don't worry, cool cat. Once you get your uh, graphics card, eventually you'll be all set. You got ninety percent of the computer, so plus you just got the extra two RAM sticks and all that, so. When do your uh, RAM sticks come, uh, cool cat? I haven't played Call of Duty ever. Oh, I can't get Call of Duty to run without kicking me back to Steam. Okay, I misread that. I was trying to read it on my phone, and the fucking phone's dying, so my screen was... Brightness was turned way down. I was trying to read it. I was outside. Uh, I'll help a little bit, but yeah, you're definitely going to at some point need to get a graphics card, but like it just if you want to run the better games, but. Like I said, you got 90% of the computer, so at the moment, you're good. A lot of people do that, though, that can't afford to buy a computer outright. They'll just you know, slowly buy, buy, buy the parts as, as they can get extra money, and eventually you got everything you need.
Fuck's I swear. Oh, and Dominic's coming in. What's up, Dominic? Yeah, good evening, all. How are we? Yeah, good. Good to hear. Uh, I'm just getting up or what? I see you're no, at your no, brother's no. garage. Yeah, I had to I had to do a couple of things this morning. So, just uh, setting up the chat, looking for who I'm talking to. Well, apparently, uh, uh, TJ's speakers on his computer took a shit on him. Oh no. So he had to order a set of external speakers to hook to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go through the chat. Hello, Michael Coolcat. Who else is there in there? Russell, Mr. Skyfly, Garth, Land. Oh, Coolcat. I know it. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was saying hello to Tim. Yep, now you can go. I've got everything out. Um, at least over here, Cool Cat, the 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 GPUs go way up and then they'll drop way down. So, uh, thirty eight percent is a pretty steep uh, decline. So, oh, don't hold cool. out. Don't hold out too long because they might skyrocket back up again. And there comes Mark. What the hell have I just Get off. What's up, Mark? Hey, Justin. Again. <clears throat> <laughs> it's been ages. Cool cat said, hello, Dominic, sir. I took a tour around the cathedral today. Like I to saw it. just a little bit of that. <laughs> and when you were purchasing a ticket or when you were talking to some sort of concierge is when I went to bed. So I did see a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, that was just the beginning. He he spent a good 30 minutes in there. Okay. We'll and go then he and got a... Hello, Dominic. Yeah. Mark, well, Mark White, how you doing? Hello, hello Paul. And then he ended it at their uh, cafeteria, I guess, slash gift shop and got himself a slice of cake um, and a cup of tea. Michael again and Finn and Michael and Michael and Michael and Michael uh, and Lance. What's up, Tim? Garth and Brother Ken and Joel Russell. Oh, I fuck. Think that's it. Joe, Joe's in the Joel. chat. No, Joel. Joe. Oh, Joel. Joel. Oh. <laughs> it's like shit. I thought my chat froze again. I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah, no, Joe. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, Joe and Joel does sound pretty close, mm. especially when you've got more than the same name in there. Well, j didn't Joe Joe say he had a lot of running around today to do with pictures and all kinds of things and. I can't remember. Probably though. I yeah. don't know. He had to deliver a whole bunch of pictures and I know he got a big shipment of pictures in yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he I mean, delivers them to each person. I think he just drops them off to the school. He drops them off at the school, yeah. Yep. And then they hand them out to all the the kids. He gets paid in advance and all, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Because he gives them envelopes to pay him. Yeah, they have to pay, and then he orders the pictures. And Tim Jackson is here. Okay. Howdy, Tim. Yeah, he was up there in the chat a minute ago.
midnight. I think Mia wants to go up right back. You guys so what is it? It's the uh, it's seven a.m. in Dominic for you. Uh, it's actually eight, eight because of the uh, yeah because of all the um, time. Um, daylight time, which we lose in oh, a couple you, of weeks. Yeah, is yours the thirty first the same as ours? Ah, uh, no, the seventh. We're follow, following week. No, the week after, right? Yeah. Yeah, as is always, the last Sunday in March and the last Sunday in October. Yeah, as is the first Sunday in, sorry, as is the last Sunday in September and the first Sunday in April. First Sunday in April. It, it actually, sometimes it can be the, the first of October. If the first of October um, happens on a Sunday, it can happen that way. Right. Just one of those things. Mm. One of those freaks of the calendar. Well, it's to be a little warmer tomorrow. It'll be 80. It's a high tomorrow. It'll be about five degrees hotter. 80. What have we got today? Uh, well, I say today it's it's gone nine o'clock at night and it's pitch black, but it's uh, seven degrees centigrade, so it's gone colder again. We're still there. Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm going to no. show you guys the, the ship I did this afternoon. Saw the one you did yesterday. That was all right. Okay. Him's so, getting a motherboard and a CPU. Can you guys see that? Uh huh. Yep. Oh, no. Was it the one no. the day before yesterday that had a huge crane that ran from the front all the way to the, the yeah. back? Uh, hey, look, that one's named Mark. That's, and that's got one as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Mark W. Barker. Mm. It's a few times you've got that one. Oh, uh, he gets a lot of the same ships over and over. Yeah. Because it's the same hundred yeah, ships. Yeah, because it has to come out there. after it's gone in, yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of the same ships kind of stay in that area, too. Or they'll be back in that area at some point. Mm. They go back, pick up an old load, and deliver it to the same place, yeah. That's a bit choppy. What's up, Brian? That... That's windy. Mm. Mm. Hi, Brian. No, I think it must be Zoom. It looks stuttery. Yeah, mm. it's just Zoom. I think it's Zoom. It's the way it shares it. Sometimes it'll be play perfect and then other times it's really choppy Copy, yeah. it's even worse on stream yard yeah sharing a fucking video it actually looks a bit better on youtube Yeah, because I, I think what it does is it tries to prioritize the stream on YouTube more than what the panel sees, you know? Mm. Yeah, it's just behind. <clears throat> it's really weird watching what's going on on the telly 
which is the YouTube stream, and seeing the actions that people are making when I know what, what they're actually saying was like five seconds ago. <laughs> right. Hi, Brian. Well, I'm getting all kinds of weird stuff. What are you talking about? I, was that a little? Was that a little tub then? Yeah. Mm. Mm. That was a working tug. Mm. <clears throat> oh, so I was right, Paul, about TikTok. It did go oh, through the it did go through the house. It passed two thirty something to sixty. Oh great! And now it just goes to the Senate, but I don't know. I couldn't find a date on when it's supposed to be going through the Senate. So, well, that's according to the news. They don't know if and when the Senate's going to take it up. Yeah, I, I was trying to find a date earlier because I was curious because I, I wanted to watch it when they uh, do the vote on it. But mm. yeah, so it that's actually done it. Yeah, do in the house. Oh, so Biden already said he's going to sign it if it comes across his desk. Um, the house passed it with sweeping. I mean, they, oh, oh, I would say three quarters of the house voted yes on it. Yeah, they. So, killed. Now, so now the Senate, if they vote yes, then it will go to the president. He'll sign it, and then yeah, they'll have what it is is they'll have six months to sell their U.S portion of the company off to a u.s company and then um mm -hmm. if they don't sell it within the six month period then they get a permanent ban uh, and then it just gets taken out of the country altogether now the, will that work if they come in and set up a u.s based company and then sell it to them is are they going to set a time limit as to how long that u.s com u.s based company has to have been in effect for no 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 no. they have to sell it to a u.s company that's already yes. a u.s company yeah so if they come in and create a u.s company tomorrow no 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 they, they, they can't create they a new it. company they got to sell sell it to an existing company yeah it will be an existing company it'll have been in existence for six months by the time they have to do it no no no, no. They, they can't have any connection to China at all. It has to be sold to an existing U.S. company. So they have to find like Google or some buyer in the U.S. Now, to buy what, it. I know what Mark's saying. He's saying if they set up a company. No, they can't do the, that. No, I no, know no. what Mark's saying. A U.S. company saying. with a head office in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. And everything's in the U.S. They're, all the links to China are removed. Right. They change the chief exec and everything else, right? Because it's not a Chinese person that's banned, is it? It's a Chinese company, mm -hmm. right? So what's the stop doing that? They can't. It has to be sold to an existing U.S. company. That's the terms. Okay. So it existing has to be like Google, long. Microsoft. No, no. Existing to... for how long is the question? Yeah. I don't... That's what we're trying to say. How long does that have to, company have to be set up? You say it has to be an existing They set company. it up today. Does it's six a months. year old company? Does it have to be a 10-year-old company? Does it have to be a 10-month-old company? How the, long the, does the company have to be in existence before they buy it? There, there is no term on how long it has to be in existence. So, okay. They could come, so you can see, they could come over, start a company on U.S. territory based in the mm -hmm. U.S., purchase themselves for the under this other company. No, they're not going to be able to do that. Why not? Because because you got the trade it's commission within the letter of the law, as you just the, said. The it. U.S. Trade Commission controls all companies. Yeah. yeah, and they and as long as they had their board was made up was based in the U.S. 
and was made up of the U.S. <clears throat> the trade, the trade, the trade, the trade company. They're not going to approve that, though, is what I'm the, saying. The U.S. The U.S. U.S. trade. How uh, are they going to know? I don't have money, to wait for the U.S. Through, trade through money. That all of those so, companies have to file to forms tomorrow. with the mm. government of where the money's coming from, where it's going to, yeah, where the money's coming who the from. investors are. Yeah, China can't put money into a company to sell it to themselves. Uh, right. They, yeah. they well, can't before, have any connect. I go. Right. Yeah, but you don't need to put money into a company to create a company. Right. You, you're going to end up with. With uh, similar to what happens in sports with sports clubs, they yeah. set up shell companies in say the Virgin Islands, and yeah. that shell company will own another shell company, which will own another shell company, and they'll have all these different companies, and the the tray the chain of it, or so somehow come up, and it only takes one of them companies to go. Well, we're actually doing a deal with. TikTok as a sponsorship, and that's where all our money goes. Mm. Uh, it's just, literally they're just siphoning it out a different route. Okay, but why would China set up a U.S. company just to not be able to have a connection to it? Because that's of my whole point. They will have no visible connection to it. Yeah, that's there's the going to be there's, there's going to be a bad there. Right? They'll be, it'll be, they won't get rid of TikTok. Yeah, to, to, it TikTok. will stay under Chinese. Yeah, so, to, uh, yeah, so continue, they'll divest themselves of the Chinese, the direct link to China. But, yeah. okay, where's the money to set up this company? Right, exactly. It, Where's the money coming from to buy this company? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter where that money you. comes from. Right? It does matter. No, you it guys... doesn't. No, if okay, I set so up, if I it... could set up a company today, and that shell company has no money, but okay, I but how do you up, purchase a company from yourself? Though? But I can then right, set so up then another purchase. shell company and put in that company one hundred hmm. pounds starter starter. Okay. And then but, that yeah. shell company with a hundred pound buys the other shell company. <coughs> no, and well, that's no. how it works. You guys act like the government's not going to know that that's happening. But it happens it all the time. Whether they know it's happening or not, it's whether they've got any say in. You act as if. Legal. <laughs> okay, the it's entire problem is the control of TikTok to be owned by a U.S. company, correct? Yes, but there's still a money no, trail no, at no. some point. Uh, stop. You guys so, act like the money's invisible. Karen. Nobody knows where it's coming from. No, we're not, we're not saying that. No, we're not. We're saying that, the, we're saying that the control of the company will be on U.S. soil. Right. It doesn't matter where the money is going or coming from. It matters that the control of the company will be on U.S. soil, which is the letter of the law if this passes. Right, but my whole point is if I set up a company uh -huh. and then I have to put money into that company to buy a company. No, you don't. What? I, can, I have a company. I own my own company. I could create another company and I could transfer the ownership of the company over to that or nothing. It just, it's basically just a legal document. Yeah. But you're still on the paperwork for both companies, right? You can be, but you don't have to be. Yes, but I, but I can base the company out of a different state if I wanted to. If, if they said, you know what, Don, you can no longer produce video in Missouri. I'm like, can I produce video in Arkansas? Yes, but you ha your company has to be based out of Arkansas. Okay, I think, can company in Arkansas. I transfer um, my LLC into that other company, company in Arkansas. Company company based out of Arkansas, it's now legal. Okay. But You've got to understand the, the, the basics of a shell company. You can start up a, a company today by calling yourself Infinity Gaming. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. but you act like the government's not going to realize that that's no, happening. It doesn't matter about no, the government. Yes, it does matter. They're no, the ones banning it. Right, oh, Justin, do you sake. tell me? You tell me you that every company shell, in the you U.S. Realize, you realize most shell companies are, are usually have to do with illegal activity, right? Yeah. No, no, Justin. Uh, 
Yeah. You're talking out of your ass. Uh, most shell companies oh, are fuck, sorry. Justin, <laughs> just listen to me. I know about this. TikTok will have ways okay, he's, of people uh, to get money into he, the country. You didn't because he's going to come that. from them. But, but there are a lot of people will create companies, say, a for rentals. They'll create a main company. It's a shell company. Below that, every single property will be its own company. So it maintains separation from the other properties. If a lien gets put against a single property, it does not affect all the other properties because they are their own separate companies. That's all it is. So it's, it's all done by name and Thank offshore. I, th I think you guys okay. are missing the purpose of this. Okay. Call. No, that, we that's, exactly what's, that's exactly we what's that's exactly what's going to happen. Know. That's exactly what's going to happen. I agree with you guys. Okay, because right. you guys are coming up with the most randomest bullshit that could happen. No, we're not. We're you're you're saying that the that's government that's banning it has no control over that. No, we're not saying the, no. the government. No, right? Okay. They, they will no, ban. You're TikTok. not listening. Yeah, but I'm listening. A, right, but they, no, you're not. Right. Remember <laughs> this. Right mm. in America, TikTok is going to be called American Toka Talk, as an example. Right, and all the assets from TikTok will move over into that. However, that's just a shell company, and that is owned by another company in the Virgin Islands. Right, a shell company now. The U.S. government will have no say in that company in the Virgin Islands because it's in the Virgin Islands. And then they'll have a shell company based in London. You realize the, the government Islands can block they, money, right? Yes, yeah. but they, they won't do. This is how they. This is how businesses are sell. How do you think the Russian oligarchs are still getting money into Russia? They're not doing Just, it direct through to Russia. Point, They're doing it through China. We the, all know it. The point of the bill, though, is to stop the TikTok. invasion of privacy and government assets being sucked exactly. up by the the Chinese government. No, it, it, it's it's a privacy thing, yes, but that's the, the only reason they are doing it. But the entire yeah. aim of the bill, the entire text of the bill is that the company cannot be owned or controlled by a the Chinese foreign government. It, 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 actually, there's like three different companies that were involved. But in essence, an enemy of the United States or a foreign actor that is not on the goods with us mm -hmm. cannot own a company. Yeah. Actually, cannot... Actually, is it even own a company in the U.S.? Or is it... Uh, yeah use the they cannot own or operate in the united states yeah but so by what i'm saying is so say the american talk talk company right yeah the so u.s will, full, will have full control of what that, that company does on your soil mm -hmm. however it won't have control of where that company sends and spends its money exactly tim, tim wants I, us to change the subject and talk about boobies Okay, it's like this, right? You've got the left, bo left booby and the right booby. <laughs> right? Yeah. The left booby's yeah. in China and the right booby's in the US, right? They both produce milk and they both serve the same purpose. However, you can't say which one can spend what money, right? You can control what the company does with its data, right? Which is what <laughs> this is all about. It's not about money. No, it's about yep. the data, right? Yep. So by making it an American company that has oversight in America. in America, you can control all the data it collects and what it does with it, and it can't send it off to China. However, you can't stop it sending money that way, unfortunately. Because it it. Well, it apparently, I'm a apparently I'm just a retard. So oh, you know. Because I'm just talking out of my ass because I don't know that. You were, you were, you were Justin, because you you weren't listening, hey, just ignoring what was being said. And 
Most shell well, companies are not uh, created he's for left. criminal activities. <laughs> What's well, <that>? Most shell companies Mark? Mark? are just created to protect the parent company from liability. Mm. Don Paul. Jim, I just took my pills. Don Paul Jones. Have you eaten well though? Yes. What did you have? Ice cream. That's <laughs> not well. What about your vegetables? Oh, I put those down in the grinder. Because <laughs> my, my Meals on Wheels came today and it had, uh, I ate the fish. Oh, good. And That's I ate good. the mashed potatoes. Good. And I ground good. up the uh, broccoli. Good. You should have just fed it the meal. You should have ate it. The broccoli went down the garbage disposal no. at least you've eaten the fish and the mashed potato that's a good start yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. we're getting fish somewhere. is good for you and the ice cream is great I went and bought more ice cream today too good <laughs> broccoli is good for you too it's, no it's, it was cabbage you look, little round balls what Sprout. Sprout. is good for you no. cabbage and corn beef you should be having it yeah. They went down the garbage disposal. Uh, They're good for your red blood cells. Mm. <laughs> Did you see what Russell said? If Justin didn't prefer men, he wouldn't be. He would be happier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go to that. <laughs> Justin fun. left. Left the yeah. show. Didn't he? Yeah. He, yeah. I pissed him off. Yeah. He just couldn't quite get that, you know, as much as we want to block everything, you can't, unfortunately. You know, you can oh. set. It's like, say, like, we're going to say to Paul, when your Meals and Wheels comes through that door, you must eat it. Paul's going to find a way of getting rid of that broccoli. Yeah. That's how I mean, they do it. That's how business works. What's the temperature where everybody else is? It's uh, 29 degrees here. <laughs> 20, 20, 29, what's that? Zero? Minus no, one? Yeah, probably yeah, minus, minus one or, one or two. two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah minus um, one. It is currently 11 12. degrees here. 11, 11, it's 11 degrees Celsius here. 7 degrees hey, in Manchester. Hey, Paul. Yeah. You just did exactly what I did on my show, my show when they were all talking about a certain other channel. I went, what's the weather like where everybody is? We've got everybody to move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't Stop you slip it. on that banana skin now, Dominic, unless you're going to record it. Dominic, do you eat a lot of bananas? Yep, one every day. Wow. Bananas are good. Source of potassium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> high energy content quick release energy bananas yep. so Joe did you get all your running around done with the pictures and everything And yes sir yes sir got everything done good you picked up $70 in checks that he had in his pocket that he didn't tell me about I'm so that means, that I'm means two people didn't get their Mike orders Scott. today. I'll have to order. Yeah, Mike Scott, 29 with heavy winds feels like seven. Ah. That's freaking cold. Mm. Here hey, comes Chuck. Mr. Chuck. Chuck. Chuck's cold. <laughs> Got all my there. blood work back. Everything's beautiful. Oh, good. Hey, Jack, how's it going? 110. Perfect. Good. You say, Joe, you had good good results on blood work and everything? Yeah, I had a, even my glucose was usually in the 130s. It was 110. Ooh, you fixed something. Nice job. Good. Now I ain't able to take that Ozempic crap. Yes. Yeah. Anything you can do holistically to get off bullshit pills is a good thing. I'm telling you. 
because every one of those things causes something else. It's one good thing yes. and one one. You know what I mean? I stopped eating. I stopped eating ice cream and cookies and cake and McDonald's. I'm just eating Wendy's. No. <laughs> That's yeah. a trick, man. <laughs> can you can you live without that stuff? Yeah, I really can. There you go. You found the fix. I'm not I just mailed enough. stickers up. Just nailed up. Hey, Dom, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Remember how Gary won the stickers on the live stream uh, Sunday evening? Well, my Sunday evening. Maybe you don't remember. No, I don't. Anyway, I gave away stickers. Lori and I gave away stickers at the end of the, the live stream. Yep. I had to ship I had to ship them to Canada. Holy yep. crap. I might as well send them to you in Australia. It cost me 40 bucks to ship a little envelope of stickers. What the Yes. Yes. Where, where did you have to send them to, Chuck? Across the border in Canada. Like well, over towards why, Canada. Why, what what were you using to ship it? Just, just a little blister pack. Yeah, but what through what carrier? Well, that's the mistake. Oops. Yeah, Oops. see, yes. if you if you'd done U.S. mail, it'd just be normal. It's just mail. Yeah, yeah U.S. mail sending here is about three dollars. Yep. Yep. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Art, Art, as in Art Carlson, sent me some stickers in an envelope, and it cost, I think, what three dollars. I'm yeah, not so, sure who uh, sent Law. I think it might have been Night Train or someone sent Laura some stickers. And she told me, she went, Oh, I've just been told I'm getting some stickers. The next day, they were actually here. Yeah. And that awesome. came from the US. It might have been, or it might have been Wedging Big. Well, anyway. I don't when it was. I won't, I won't do that again. But I was like, you know what? I'm feeling Thanks, charitable. I'm going to give UPS extra money because they've handled my stuff so well cheaply in the past. So I was like, you know, win some, lose some. But well, the yeah. thing of it is, is if you use the U.S. mail service, they have agreements with all, all the countries around the world and yeah. they do it for next to nothing. It's just their hours aren't as good. So like I paid a major convenience fee because I can't do it during the day typically. And I wanted to get this done. So, Andrew, Paul, Joe, anyway, yeah. Hi, Andrew, and David, what the David the Birdman, Andrew. Andrew, Laura says hi to you all. Hello, hi, Laura. Laura. Night, Laura. That's okay. The guy at the UPS store wanted what he had Who to open it? up the envelope. Stickers that came the next day. Is it Wedging Big or? No, Wedging Big said about weeks. I think it was Wedging Big. Wow. You were saying Wedging Big took about three days. There you go. So it was Wedging Big. Yeah. Well, anyway, oh, like, the, guy the, the guy at the UPS store had to open up the envelope because I hadn't counted how many things I put in the envelope. So he opens it up. and there's, a, Of course, there's a, it's a big bag of stuff because I'm like, I'm sending the stuff. Might as well send stuff. And he's like, oh, you have channel stickers and stuff. I said, yeah, you want one? He's like, yeah, it's a QR code on it. I said, yep. He's like, yeah, I'll take one of these. Okay, cool. So Gary's getting one less. But I think <laughs> I got a new subscriber. If you I got want a new one? Oil subscriber. See, Chuck, huh? you missed out. You want one? Yeah, sure. That's $40. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Dollar fifty. It says that that'll be ten dollars. That'll be twenty dollars, please. It doesn't <laughs> work that way. You know that, but that's funny. That's funny. I, I ordered a new one today. A round sticker, uh, a one and a half inch round, and it's my logo. Yeah, that's on my, like sticker Facebook. mule, right? Sticker mule. So I got it through. God, don't, let me see the name. It's not sticker mule. It's uh, oh, the, the, sticker mule see. has deals all. J uh, Jiffy, JiffyShirts.com. Oh, that's different. Okay. Why well, I yeah, use sticker that, mule a lot. And yeah, like they sent me. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say sticker mule, they once you're on their list, they send you like deals and they're doing a week of deals this week. So every day they have a different one. They had round stickers today. That's why I thought maybe you were doing their round well, stickers. Well maybe I should have looked over there. I got but the ones I, I got were um Johnny bought some through this place the other day. 
and I got a hundred for twenty nine dollars, and they they'll be here tomorrow. They said. That's uh, okay. I will tell you that the three inch round stickers from Sticker Mule are um, twenty nine dollars for fifty. So you're already you're already half the price, but maybe they're bigger stickers. But um, yeah, those are bigger. Uh, there's they, only one and a half. I want it to fit on that little round circle right there. That's an inch. That's sure. a little more than an inch and a half. Because gotcha. on that side I got the blue, and I'm gonna put the sticker on it. And on the other side, I got that. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, well, sticker mule. They everything they do, they put a deal on everything. It's like eventually something will be to quantity fifty for like twenty nine dollars, and they ship for free. But yeah. they're in New York, so they ship because they're in New York, and I'm in New York. I get the stuff in just like a few days. It's usually pretty fast. But um, they have cool stuff. I've I've bought Covaction magnets. I bought Covaction coasters. I bought Covaction round stickers, Covaction rolls of stickers that are easy to, when you're going to, when I'm going to do my graffiti stuff, when I travel, they're the easiest things to peel fast and stick are the ones on the roll. Yeah. You know, Lori and I, well, that's trying to get that's around. That's what these are. So, yeah. These are on a roll. You just pull and stick and stick them. Yeah. Because Johnny's using them right now to put on, uh, he's got little bitty small ones. He's got on a, a fidget he's making, a 3D fit, uh, on the 3D printer. And he's bringing some yep. of those that are meet up. And then he's got, um, He's got some he's putting on those cups he's, he's drinking out of right now. But $100 for $29, I couldn't beat that. I check. He'll be back. He's got oh. a dead zone. Oh, I see the sun. Lost my audio. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> that was Chuck, by the way, Laura. <laughs> I don't think I've done that for a woman before, but <laughs> oh wow! You said if you got something bigger, <laughs> show me your pinky. Not after what she show said your, the other day. Show me your pinky and say well, this is what you don't deserve the very best. Joe, what did she say the other day? I'm not repeating that. <laughs> I actually can't remember. Good. Nice. You're lucky. Because <laughs> we can't nice. forget it. <laughs> oh, is that over the... Um... Yeah, it was. The fuck thing. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, it's snowing while it's sunny out. It's kind of crazy. Well, you can oh, keep the snow, but send us the it's sun. It's called the sun, sun snow shower. <laughs> it's the sun shower. Oh yeah. man, I went to the UPS store. The wind was blowing so hard that the door wouldn't close behind me. I hate it when that happens. Well, part of the time my UPS store, uh, people go in, and then uh, part of the time you can't get in the door because there's so many people in the small space in the store, so the door doesn't shut. You got something going on around here. You got sirens everywhere. They found you. Look out. Oh, I don't worry about that. <laughs> or are they yeah, coming uh, for... I, uh, well, it sounds like fire trucks. So it's some, it wasn't that close. It's, it, it's sl stopped, though. So it could be pretty close. Oh, I thought they were like coming a bunch for of David. Them. I thought they were coming for David. Well, we've had a couple <laughs> of fires since I've lived here in the apartment complex. You know, that takes about 10 fire trucks. So last night, my son, he, he, he didn't get home until about 2.30. And he, he, I didn't say nothing to him last night when he walked in. And he, he finally came and told me what happened last night. He, uh, he was looking over at an automobile that was making a turn. And there were two guys in it, and they kind of slumped down and put their hoodies on. So he, he said he got behind them. And when he got behind him, there was about three cars behind him. He looked over and he, could he had, a, they had a, a plate cover on it, so you couldn't read the plate. So he lit them up, and they pulled over like they were going to slow down. And they kept rolling slow and rolling slow and rolling slow. And he kept telling them they're still rolling like this. And all of a sudden, they took off. So now he's in pursuit. They were going up Highway 25 at 95 miles an hour, chasing them. And the chief came out and said, uh, coming to 23, Unless you have a serious reason for it, just abort it. Let it go. 
like that because it was going into another jurisdiction. And Justin, Justin said, he went back and said, yeah, they, 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 it's a pursuit. They're the ones that are running from me. It, I ought to be able to take it. So he backed off on it. About two hours later, uh, SO called and said, do you know something about this car? Because they found it on the side of the road with the doors open. And witnesses said that two guys jumped out of it. One had a shotgun, one had an AK-47. And they were running from the car. And when they got to the car and checked the car out last night, they had they had cocaine, they had meth, they had all kinds of stuff in the car. Justin said it would have been probably a shootout if they would have stopped. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, glad they didn't do it. Sounds like drug dealers to me. Oh, it was. But the chief came back and they said, the chief told him, he said, uh, you know, we didn't have a unit up that way to back you up. That's why I wanted to back off. But you got SO up there. They should have relayed to SO and have them back them up. Exactly. Folsom, we were, we were going into Folsom could have stopped them before they got there. They so should have cut them off. Yep. A one, lay, a one lane road, but it was during school time. It was during school time. And he was cutting in and out between traffic. So that's why they wanted to pull it off because there was too many people out. And uh, the chief said when he found out what it was, he says, you know, I, I got to tell you, he said, I'm list I went back and listened to it. He said, that is probably the coolest I've ever heard anybody on a pursuit. The way you acted. And they looked at the body cam and he was just, he was saying, coming to 23, we're going about 95 now. <laughs> like that, you know. And he they were in a little Honda <laughs> and he was in a, a Hellcat. He said, they weren't going anywhere. <laughs> you know? But that's that could probably, have been bad. Yeah, that could have gone south real quick. Yeah, Justin, Justin is, is number one in his class and the number one proficiency in arms with the with the police department. Hmm. He doesn't miss what he's shooting at. So it's like I think he inherits his shooting skill from you. Well, I haven't I haven't shot against him in a long time, but my other son beat me last time we did but i think he gets his skill from you uh, he doesn't get it from me I, I got it but he just learned it you know what i tell you oh i'm telling you i would not have liked to have heard of a of a oic oic last night with him. Would you have pushed the issue and tried to keep going on that pursuit yeah. if it, that was you? Well, the thing was, they should have, like I said, they got three agencies in a, within a mile of each other that are on the same freaking street. So why didn't they relay it to SO and say, uh, you got a, a vehicle in pursuit. This is the pursuit coming to 23. Is in pursuit? And they are ahead of them and come the other way. It's a two-lane highway. It's a two-lane highway. You block it off. And Folsom comes down. You got you got St. Tammany, and you got the sheriff's office, and you got all of them sitting up there. And they ain't going away. And then you come in from behind. They got to stop. All they'd have to do at that point is throw some uh, spike strips. Yeah, but they didn't do it. Now, now they're kicking each other. They, they got all of the the stuff that was in the car, the guns and everything in the car. So, you know? do they have the two individuals? No. They don't even have a good yeah. description on it because as <laughs> Justin said he couldn't even get a good description on them because they, they they're trying to do fingerprint. Oh, the car the car was stolen out of Texas. I've been out of Lafayette. <laughs> the plate was stolen off of a, a car out of New Orleans. So everything was wrong. Hmm. You know, and when he called <laughs> it in, he gave him the plate, the plate, the, what he could see of the plate number, and and the freaking dispatch. They they mad at dispatch. The this dispatch ran it, and ran the wrong number but they had to come back and said it's a stolen plate then they have a reason to keep going you know sounds so, like yeah. he, it sounds like your son needs to move to a real department yeah you're right he's he keeps saying that but it's it's not it's not his department it's it's the sheriff's department st tammany runs dispatch it's that department well that's what i'm saying it's all linked together dysfunctional Dysfunctional. Yeah. And the sad part of it is, if it's a dysfunctional department, 
sooner or later somebody's going to get killed. Mm. Uh, I hope not. Yeah. I know part of the time that someone first gets fired. Usually. Well, the chief, the chief's going to get you too for pulling it off. He should, you know, because these are two individuals that were probably two bad guys. You know, stolen car, drugs, everything else, weapons. Uh, it was, uh, and the trunk was full of, uh, of uh, automobile parts, stolen automobile parts. So they had a racket going there. That was a that was a crime scene, right? That, that whole thing. Well, it was a courier car. Yeah, it was. Oh, sounds like he's part of a ring. Well, there is, it's, and that's coming out of Bogalusa up up the road. Bogalusa is so bad up there. The gangs up there, and it's starting to where Johnny lives. Hammond's starting to get a few of them. Maybe Johnny needs a 12 gauge. Wonder how this is going to go. Updating Da Vinci to 18.6.6. I wonder how this is going to go. Are you in your, Are you on your laptop in the car? No, I'm talking to you guys on my phone, but I'm on my big computer updating Da Vinci, praying that it works. <laughs> I huh. hate updates. Well, they're kind yeah. of necessary. Because mm. usually in my case, uh, Chuck, is if I get an update, it might update what I was supposed to update, but then down the road, it's something else that's screwed up. Mm. Well, um, this isn't a beta update. It should be okay. But yeah, things happen. But normally, you get more good than bad. Um Da Vinci's added a lot of cool stuff. So, I mean, I'm glad I've been updating. The 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 AI that helps you manage background noise in your audio is incredible now. It's improved over the past year, like, tenfold. It's really great. So, very helpful. Yeah. So, you're going to put it to the test, Chuck? Da Vinci? No, I was just going to leave it on his computer. No, you're going you, you're gonna to put the... Uh, Sound isolation to the test now with Da Vinci. I've been using it a lot already, man. For like since it since it first popped in, I used to use a third party app to reduce noise, and then Da Vinci came out with their own. Well, like a year and a half ago or so, and been using it ever since. And almost every video, because there's always times where we have people talking in our video like like this this ice climbing video that's coming out this weekend oh yeah guy talking the guide was not close to us so i have to i have to bring up her audio and then i need to reduce the background noise when i bring up her audio so that it sounds natural like she's near like you know so you don't yeah. know that it. and da vinci <laughs> has tools in there to make that possible i can bring the audio up so the guide sounds close to us I can reduce the background noise, so I bring her up, but the background noise stays low, just like it was before with Lori and me talking. And yeah, yeah, it's work, but it's awesome. And that's just, you know, you use a real, when you use an actual powerful <laughs> editor like Vinci or, or um, Final, Final Cut or um, Premiere Pro, I mean, you're using stuff that it's top notch and it has, they have the same features. Eventually they all have the same features. Yep. So it just opens the door to be able to do stuff that um can Da Vinci just... up can Da Vinci upscale video. You can re you can gen yeah, you can render it upscale, but I don't have to. Everything I do is in 4K, so it's fine. But yeah. You can render anything any way you want to. But why would you want to upscale, by the way? I was going to try to upscale a couple of old videos from uh, cameras well, from like 15 uh, years from like 15 years ago. Actually, I haven't, Andrew, I haven't messed with that yet, but I have some old videotape stuff and I have the Black Magic capture card that I bought and I need to put everything in the SVHS deck because I'm dealing with old SVHS stuff. 
and it's only going to be 480 lines. That's all it is. And yeah, I'm going to experiment with it and see what happens. But that's that's different. I don't think you do that actually in DaVinci. You do that with like the other Black Magic program I'm going to use it with the capture card. I think I haven't experimented with it yet. Yeah. Oh, I'll let you know. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I keep putting that off because I'm trying to do all the current stuff. And I'm so far oh, behind, it's insane. I guess you just got to just jump in, just start it. With everything else? You put a pause on your current project <laughs> for a weekend and just try the other, you know? Yeah, except um, I'm not going <laughs> to. No, not gonna. I'm so really in. I'm deep in the Iceland project. That's what I'm working on, and then then we'll, when I change gears, shift gears from that, we'll see where I go next. But hey, Dusty, South East Coast, Nasty Andrew, East Coast. Did you see what East Coast put in the uh, chat, Dominic? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I got to like them. Is that okay? <clears throat> Your thing go okay last night, there, Dominic? Who? Huh? You left last night for a while. Your thing okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Tim, what time? What time is it there now, Dominic? Uh, five past nine a.m. You have time, isn't it? Tim Jackson wanted to know when you left your job at NASA, Andrew. I don't work for NASA, Tim. <laughs> Hope it's not ran there, Tim. The um, anybody got any new drones that they're looking at, or no? no. <laughs> no, I know Laura hasn't been flying lately. I got no. a flight in before I dropped off the pictures today. Well, hey, David, that last fight was what a couple of weeks ago that Laura did? Uh, mm. Yeah, not last week, week before. Yeah, but they're. Um, the weather's improving, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be able to get out and go. What improving? It's going to rain for the rest of the week. Well, for you it is, but you're in Manchester. We're in Essex. We get sunny weather here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wh weather, it, weather switches with one another, so eventually you get the opposite. No, 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 no. Essex is fast hey, the sunniest place in the UK. Chuck has uh, arrived back home. Well, oh, I was right. here, but I was on my phone. Da Vinci, da Vinci updating was sucking up all my computer power. Apparently, yeah, it's gone. it usually does. It did. I don't like let go. Let go. <sighs> so you're home we, alone? We've got rain forecast. The next. Yeah. After this Sunday, I don't think Laura's going to be doing much lies for a couple of weeks. No, what's happening? Oh, I'm blaming Paul. Oh, no, what's happening? I'm definitely blaming Paul. We've got Hannah for a week, and then we've got... Yeah, we've got... Then we got Matthew and Rebecca together, and then we got Amber. Yeah, that's when you need to do a live. No, then we got... Then we got... Oh, yeah. Oh, you're getting the yeah. Uh, yeah we need Hannah. Easter holidays. 
Easter Aunt, holidays. Here come the nieces. You're gonna excited for Hannah, I'm sure. Yeah. We're all getting excited. I'm well excited. I've got two weeks of sleeping in the living room. <laughs> you and the birds. Yeah. So when you go to bed, I don't think Chuck's but... ever met Hannah. Nope. Hannah's a handful. She's all right. What what is she? Just find this one. David, what is she? 14? 16. 16, 16 going on 28. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> Sounds legit. She's just a she's just a younger version of Laura. Well, God help us all. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's what David says. Mm, probably true. <laughs> probably true. She's Mark, what are you up to? I don't get to see you very often, man. Oh, God. Oh, it's what? early still. You guys haven't. You guys haven't sprung ahead. You do it at the end of the month or something, right? Over in the UK. Yeah, we come back to your. Five hours a week on Sunday. Sunday week. Easter Sunday. Gotcha. Back in a minute. And then the following week we lose the we lose the hour. <clears throat> the annoying part is our politicians keep talking about moving our head or falling back permanently. permanently. Yeah. But they don't follow through. Nope. And this surprises you, Andrew. Why? It doesn't. Okay. Because <laughs> they because there's answer. a there's a couple of lawmakers from New York that have been doing the same thing for the last forty years. Forty. And not following through. They all suck they got, collectively. They got so. one had been in the it was been in the White House had been doing something for like sixty years. <laughs> oh great. The weatherman just says Friday, we could get be getting over six inches of snow. It's not over yet. That should be surprising, Paul. It's spring. Well, our weather says it's going to be fine tomorrow, and then it's going to rain every day till next Wednesday. Mark, don't trust the weatherman. Mark, you can keep that rain up north. Never trust Paul, the weatherman. You can keep the snow. We never trust the weathermen. We know think, they always get it wrong. I think Chuck knows that best with the weathermen. No, I no, think it's internationally true. That yeah. No matter this where I've gone. This is why we don't trust the weatherman in the UK. I received a phone call earlier from a nice old lady who told me there's a hurricane going to hit the UK this evening. I can assure you, the UK never gets a hurricane. <laughs> You'll be fine. No need to panic. The, the and we'll see you. Incident. Yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. We got hit with a fucking hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Michael <laughs> Peake incident. That's... I don't know. I went to Scotland and like, hey, don't be surprised. In Scotland, you'll see four seasons in one day. I'm like, and oh, yeah. that's not different from where we're from. So... I guess we're ready. We had two and a half today. Mm. Started out in winter, got to spring and almost the summer. Wow. You don't usually do that in a day, but over the course of a week, we can do that here for sure. Yeah. We can get four seasons in a day here. Easy. I've in seen winter, it rains. eight inches of in snow. Spring, it rains in summer. It rains in autumn. It rains. I see a pattern. It rains. Yeah. So we <laughs> just get a rainy day, and that's all four seasons in one day. It started raining at half past 10 last night and stopped at 10 o'clock this morning. This is not continuous. <laughs> My Mavic 3 has 106 flights on it now. Oh, great. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. You're using it. That's what it's for. Yeah, I used it today. 
that's <clears throat> twice a week for the two years you've had it. I've had it just about a year and four months. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't fly my shit much either. Two and a half times a day. <laughs> you fly it. It's always cool. You going to fly the other bridge, Joe? I went out to Highway 11 where they got the big train trestles. So I had to go to school and drop off those pictures. So I got out there, and when the bridge is up, the train's not coming. And the bridge was down. I said, oh, that's a good sign. So I got out there and flew for about 30 minutes all up in that area and no train. <laughs> and so I didn't get a train, but I got a lot of the bridge, a lot of the people fishing, a lot of the water. Then I came back and all the, the waterfront homes and camps, I got all of that out there. And you can see I was doing that at about 250 feet so that you could see the marsh behind it and you got all the, the area mm -hmm. of it. I actually took about 15 pictures today. Figure that one out. Wow. Right. Shit. But as soon as I got it in the air, I was up about 30 feet. This big old bird comes up and looks at it. <laughs> and then he flew, he flew away. And I said, you, you have to keep going. I'll chase you with it. <laughs> That's where we go. Yeah. I hope it doesn't try it. Didn't try to uh, steal your your drone. Now, if I was if it was an osprey, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have flown it to where I flew it. Because I followed the bridge all the way out on the uh, the train bridge all the way out to where the, the 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 port that goes up and down is, and it maxed out at sixty eight, sixty three feet. Because that's where it's at out there. Because the also just what, brought out some new stealth propellers for the Mini Three and Mini Four that are slightly lower in pitch. They're such a waste of money. No offense. Such a money grab. Who gives a shit. The OEM props work great. I thought in the UK you had to use Mark. I thought in the UK you guys have to use OEM props. There's like some kind of goofy. No, no regulation on that. No. No. Uh, but regardless, I just having used Master Air Screw stuff, and most of the time it it's pretty decent. I just don't see the benefit <laughs> over the DJI props for whatever reason. I mean, yeah, they're a little the tone's a little different, but um, remember the Mavic Two series? The Mavic Two series they had the stealth props, and the tips were so paper thin that they would yeah they'd bend or break off. The mustard and it screws it, are quite flimsy. Oh, yeah. I just and so like when I traveled to like Scotland, I'd bring all these extra props because we were about screwing them up. That's a high of thirty degrees Fahrenheit. Mine have still got the props that it came with. Yeah, my Mini Three Pro props have have tried to prune tree branches and they still are okay. <laughs> yeah, which means they're thicker than the two. They are. They're thicker. Uh, they're, I don't know, just, um, it's funny, like, seriously, I, I smacked a tree with Mini 3 Pro, and it kind of bobbled, and didn't come out of the sky, and then when I brought it back, I was like, oh my god, it didn't crash, I bring it back, and I'm looking, I'm like, they're not cracked, they're not chipped, they're like, they're okay, what the heck, that's mm, crazy. Do not balk, do not balk. <laughs> UPS guy? What? Oh my! Joe's dog. Oh, my. Captain Joe's having dog trouble again. Oh no! Go in and find I out. Keep this. hearing those sirens and they're stopping somewhere around here. I wanted uh -huh. to go smell and see if I smell like a fire in the area. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it is definitely a, a fire truck. There's a video of the dog of a, a fire truck going by and dogs howling like a siren when this <laughs> truck goes by. Cause I got I got a bunch of full batteries to put it up. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, look at this shit. Oh, this is cool shit. All right, I grab my brush pass and get out there and start throwing it up in there. Mm. You know, one of the best things about filming when you do projects and you set it down for a while is you come back and it's like I forgot I filmed that. Oh my god, I yep. filmed that. Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dusty, I uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
<laughs> All right, who's pinging me? I threw the news on, local news on just now to see if they say anything because they'll they'll say it quick. Because if there's if there's like a, a some fire somewhere close by, that Mavic three got launched from right here. I'm gonna drop off. Getting, I'm getting distracted. Mm -hmm. I'm not being, I'm not focused on this stuff. So you guys all take mm -hmm. care. I might catch up with you later, but I'm, okay. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. I can feel me mentally drifting. Chuck, yeah. Chuck, maybe that means you need a break. Yeah, <laughs> gotta change or shift gears again. So that's, that's what he did. He maybe, took a break. That's why I didn't remember he filmed that. Being in front of the I know. I, that's well. That's part of the reason why I want to go because, like, I just found some really good footage from Iceland that I'm like, holy shit! I didn't know I filmed that. So, like, I have to. Just um, means you need another cup of coffee. <laughs> Tim, mm. All right, Mark. Tim, Tim wants to. Tim wants to turn up. Porn up. <laughs> All right. On that note. I'll see you see you guys later paul tell paul i said goodbye wherever the hell he is okay babe. chuck all right see He's you up. paul all right buddy later, thanks chuck. for stopping in later chuck Poodles, i'll be back later i'll let somebody else talk now okay yep right, yeah you know, dominic's just been di dying to to spew you know yeah 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 i'm, I'm... <laughs> so what's okay. going on you're all right there justin We've lost Justin and Donald, so uh, Justin's <laughs> there. He hopefully he's all right. I'm still in. Hey. Shh. Or did an electric collar help, Joe? Oh, I don't like that. Joe's just turned away. Hey, a, a baseball bat. Everybody went quiet. Foot <laughs> a baseball bat or what? What? Oh, a taser. See it? I do that and he runs in the corner. No, you don't like it. I wonder why. So mm. when you get this, so I'm telling you, all you, you gotta do is be quiet. So <laughs> you so you tased him once before. No, I didn't tase him. But he don't, he don't like tased him himself. Hey David, what do I gotta do? Call Justin and ask him what happened to him? Justin's on the <laughs> paddle. Yeah, he's back. Is he? Oh, he's yeah. back. All yeah. right. Hopefully he's all right. Justin. You there? I did message him. I don't see him on the panel. Yeah, yeah I, I can see him. him. I can see him. Bottom center. Nobody Jackson, bottom center. Tim Jackson, Tim Jackson, East Coast. Might be East Coast, no, Tim Jackson. No. Oh, that's the chat. No, That's the chat. On, your chat on the man. on the Zoom panel. On the Zoom. Oh, there he is. Okay, I thought you were talking about in the chat. Yeah, are, Justin. Are you a... okay, Justin? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> oh. Everybody wondered what happened to you. Not not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just a chill break. Jay or uh, Joe, send me one of those middle fingers so I can flip you off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Joe, no. meow. No, I'm not mad at anybody or anything. I just got a little heated, so I left. And plus, I had to go get dinner anyway. What'd you get? Pizza. Ooh, mind you. Oh, Joe, I you know what? Do you know what a dummy is, Joe? And yeah. I needed to go get some super glue at the dollar store. Oh, by the way, Justin, would you like um, one of them middle fingers putting in your package to... Uh... Uh, oh, there you go. I'll, I'll, I'll print you one out. You know what you call a pacifier that you give babies? Hey, David, make sure it's a small one. <laughs> <laughs> we, that's what we say when somebody has a, a wobbly and sods off like that we say they spit the dummy out the pram he yeah, did spit yeah. the dummy joe check your messages from laura oh by the way yeah. guys on monday make, make him one head big anyone who's interested <laughs> in, yeah anyone who's interested in ai or gitchy beyond <laughs> polls monday afternoon Audio only.
All right. Get she's going to be here. She's going to be in the UK. We might let you see the other side of her hair this week. <laughs> Just for job. David, I thought you meant you were building an AI and part of it was based on Gitchy. No, they're meeting Gitchy in London. <laughs> Gitchy's coming to London. Joe says that Gitchy is an AI. He's not she's not real. Oh I'll, I'll I'll believe that when I see it. Just a minute. I'll church Yoni's AI. So when does she arrive there, David? Well, not a capital I, but I think she arrives Sunday, and we meet her Monday, and she goes on Tuesday. I think. But would you, Adam and Eve, sods law? The train companies are going out on strike on Monday. Nah, nah. Oh, oh is it overpay? Yeah, that was a way. Yeah. But not to worry. We oh, have a plan in place. What are you gonna do? Rent a car? No, it's it's the um, a, it's a was a different train company a bit further up the road. We're gonna use them to get uh, into London. What about? Is there Uber? Well, there's only one of them. But... David, C two C are the ones that the. Affected and the and, uh, price to get from where he lives into London by Uber is ridiculous. Yeah, um, no, I'm not paying over a hundred. I want you to check your messages, Joe. I bet I've been ignoring them. Hi, Laura. How do you do that, Joe? I've been asking people this. People keep saying they've been ignoring Laura, and I'm like. How? Just tell me how. <laughs> Somebody just shared the knowledge. We all yeah. need to know. It's quite yeah. easy to ignore people when they're now, that now I can never unsee that. Mark? <laughs> Mark, share yeah. your phone number with Laura, add yeah. it to Facebook and WhatsApp. He's right? on my Facebook. Well, give me your phone number and then see how easy it is to ignore her. My phone number is on my Facebook. Since I said that, you're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> she just giggled in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Welsh Rob, he made that mistake three years ago. He went, he went, Laura, have my phone number. Now, every time Laura oh. goes to the supermarket, he's getting the phone call. Mm -hmm. is, yeah, is, we... is Rob coming to meet Gitchy? Um, I no, Probably. I don't think he is. Does he know about power. Gitchy coming? Yeah, I, he does. I can ignore every phone number I don't recognize and usually do. You'll, you'll recognize her number. It'll be the one that texts you about 50 times a day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's usually <laughs> fake. <laughs> All right, 51 times. She'll, she'll be... She'll yeah. be There'll be ten one word messages. David, 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 <laughs> David. Laura, David, send me that David. picture. Check your messages. See, I'm opposite. I I answer all the numbers I don't recognize because you never know who it might be. <laughs> there is no one. Like what's 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 worst case scenario if you answer the phone and somebody you don't want to talk to, you hang up on them. Somebody will want you to set up a Repayment plan for the money mm. you owe. Oh, you I saw it. You can't. But I've gotten calls from people like out of the blue, like old friends and stuff that I didn't have their number. So that's why I kind of, I'll, I'll answer it just to see who it is. If, if it's, it's important call. and it's somebody that knows me, they'll leave a message. Exactly. If I yeah. suspect it's them. spam, I'll if leave it alone. If it's just junk <laughs> or somebody who wants to try and get me to pay money back to them. <laughs> if I know it's spam, they always I block so it. Right. Here you go, guys. This bridge was designed to have the shadows to, ref to reflect oh. the pianists who were nearby. 
This had a similar theme. Yeah, but that, the, and that's the, the house, <laughs> that's the UK House of Parliament. <laughs> okay, yeah, now the right. the sh the shape that's on the bridge isn't actually shaped like that. It's just the angle of the sun, right? It's just the yes. way the sun. Yeah. <laughs> just it's actually in it's just three circles joined together. Yeah, you, the shape of, when the that, sun Paul? catches at a certain angle, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> that's yeah. what I mean. It's it's not. It's so yeah. yeah. When you look it, at the bridge itself, it doesn't look like that. No, it's a certain time of the day that you, you catch it. Right. That that picture will start a conversation. Because now, if the bridge looked right like now. that when you looked at it, then I would say somebody did that shit on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this happens that way at a certain time of the day. I am I am it almost happens. certain. <laughs> eventually, the government will realize. <laughs> What's going on there and change that because it's it is Westminster Bridge leading to Westminster and the government, the House of Parliament. Yeah, that'd be about right. The government didn't design the bridge, no, but the bridge leads to it. So you'd yeah, think I mean, the government of dicks, they hired a third party to do it. Yeah, but you'd think the government would think, hmm, maybe not a good idea to have outside our uh. Big thing, you know, when you've got the uh, American president coming over the bridge and you're looking out the window it, going, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It took how he, many years? He wouldn't understand. Really... He wouldn't realize what it was. It took <laughs> him how many years to notice, notice this, David? Um, It's been up there for a few hundred years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're going to change it anytime soon. They're not going to now. <laughs> They will do because it's got it's got issues with that bridge. Then, yeah. and they need to make it safer because of uh, they've had a few incidents where people have drove the cars onto the pavements and run people mm -hmm. over. That bridge is the most used bridge in the UK on foot and by car. Oh, okay. You cool. you could have up to a thousand people on that bridge Jeez. at a time because it's in central London. Mm. All uh, the tourists stopping there just to take the photographs of you, know, you got hustlers on the bridge and stuff. It all goes uh, people trying to scam people on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You know you know the ones. You know you know the ones where they've got the marks in the uh, crowd that will win a prize and yeah. then everybody else will go, Oh, really? <laughs> Chuck the five pound in thinking they're gonna win fifty and they go, Oh, you didn't win. Or no, it's like no. the, or, or it's like those uh, people that dress up like monks and give out the bracelets. Yeah, and yeah. They, they they say it's free, but then they expect you to pay for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck so get around, that. Fuck <laughs> around. Fuck around and hand me one of those. I'm gonna walk the fuck off and not give you a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Are those the ones they, dressed in orange? Yeah, they 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 dress up like they monks, but nothing. apparently they're not even monks. Yeah, they're, they're Harry, 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 Harry Krishnas. Yeah. yeah, they pretend to be monks, and they try to they hand you a bracelet claiming it's free, but then they expect you to give them money for it, like a donation or whatever. Book. But then they'll apparently they'll get really pissed off if you don't give them a donation. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, from what I've seen on that scam, apparently yeah, they're not real monks; they just pretend to be. <clears throat> Because that, that's a scam that you see yeah. that well, you see, a lot overseas. It, it, over it's your, a cult religion. Yeah, but over in America, it's probably monks. Over here, it's normally... Um, I don't want to say... A similar name to the traveling community, what they, what they get called. But I don't want to say it because it's, it can be offensive over here. Uh, well, that's yeah, not no, a... Jimmy Carr got himself in trouble using that word. That's yeah. not a scam over here. It was a scam that a guy was uh, traveling in Europe, and he was showing, like, he was actually going around showing all the scams. But it wasn't in the UK. Yeah, it was somewhere be, in Europe. I can't remember exactly what country it was. It would be there. Rome or somewhere like that. <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> yeah, he purposely goes out of his way to show you, like, the, he'll go up to the scam artist and then tell you how it's done. Mm. Uh, you see, the monks were the first actual photocopiers because they used to write the books. That's yeah. That was their thing. Yeah. 
Now, I think mm. when one of them monks broke down and the uh, repairman turned up, and he goes, yeah. sorry, mate, that's a brother. I only work on cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so Lee Evans joke. Uh, I know, I've uh, heard it before. It, David, did you hear about the Irish it. Prime Minister? Yes, he's resigned. Yeah. Who? The Irish Prime Minister has resigned. Yeah. Good. But Why? Um, he was going to He's... resign before he was 50 in a way. He uh. said it was mostly political reasons and a few of them personal. Hmm. Let me see. He's the head That's of what... a political party and the Prime Minister, said. the head of the British, the uh, pub political establishment in Ireland, and he resigned for political reasons. I'm guessing he's tired of the bullshit <laughs> of politics. Mm. Or, he got caught, or he got caught with a hooker in his insane. hotel room. No, <laughs> he, he was already retiring, and he was going to retire at the next election, but he, what he's decided is if he retires now, stays in, he'll stay in power until a new prime minister's picked, mm. and then they have to have a general election over there uh, by July next year or something. It's a bit like us. We've got to have our next general election by the end of January next year. So it's looking like it's going to be October. It, it sounds like it, he officially was stepping down today. No, but he's announced he's stepping down. But the prime minister, it's like the prime minister of the UK. They can't just go, I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, yeah, they have a job to do. They have to still run the country until a new one is found. That's what they leave, If they leave that spot vacant, no, it's just a spill. Well, I think of it this I, way: Could you imagine the the president of the United States going, "You know what, guys? Fuck you all. I'm off." It wouldn't be allowed to happen because your country would go to shit. Well, our country already has gone to shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, it's 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 Too late. Um, <laughs> now, I, over he, over here, it's a boardroom meeting, and if the prime minister loses the uh, loses the ballot vote, and there's a vote of no confidence. Yeah, yeah same as over here. Replaced. Yeah, he just immediately replaced. Well, we had, we did it. I think three times in four years. Yeah, they can do it Ooh. that way, but you can't just resign because, like, no, so no. You, you the political resign. party you, you must. Yeah, the political yeah. party in power must have somebody lined up ready. Yeah. Hey, Justin, you can walk can't in there just... and pick up the mic and say, yeah, if he just... resigns, he has to stay on for the next <laughs> election. But if he's pushed out, it's an immediate change. Oh, that's what I do. That tells me the people do not want him. No, he is a popular prime minister. He's a young one, and he he said he wants to be out of politics by the time he's 50. No, but what Dominic you've got to said... remember, right, in Ireland, you've got Southern Ireland, you've got Northern Ireland, you've got the big conflicts. It is a, yeah. I, I on both well, sides that... of that board, it's very politi political. I met yeah. the three you... no confidence votes. That tells me somebody doesn't want him. Yeah, well, that's generally where no confidence vote is. Yeah, that's when that's when they get nice. Which means they should have not literally, literally forcefully. <laughs> no, no, figuratively <laughs> speaking, not literally. <laughs> the figure yeah. of speech. And half of Ireland is still in Europe. Yes. Hmm. Well, all of Ireland is still in Europe. It's, but. It is such a mess. Northern Ireland is. Southern Ireland's in Europe, fully in Europe. That is, yeah. Southern Ireland is owned, is Irish, owned and governed, the, has no say in the UK at all. Mm. Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom, but not part of Great Britain, I think. Yeah, that's right. It's part of the United yeah. Kingdom, not part Ireland of Great Britain. Known as the Republic of Ireland. Yeah. yeah. And they have their own government, but it's part, it's fully con not fully controlled, but controlled by the British government. Yeah, it's kind of like Puerto Rico is to us. Yeah, they have their own government, but we can step in at any time. 
Yeah, yeah it's a bit like you were Florida. That's an odd <laughs> setup, David. Damn right, we got our own government. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like a territory, like what we would consider a territory. Mm. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's... there's a yeah, lot that's... of history and blood lost over. Hey, I wouldn't mind being PM. I reckon I'd Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland and the United Kingdom. Yeah. Which we like, to return to. What's funny Dominic, is Dominic wants the PM job. Yeah, I'd I'd love to be PM. I reckon I'd I'd get the country running again. What's funny about uh? Oh, Some of the territories, too, is like Puerto Rico is they have, I think, congressmen, but they can't vote or anything on nothing. But they do have representatives, I think, yeah. within Congress and Senate, yeah, but they're not allowed to. Rather than, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they uh, can't actually vote on anything. Yeah. I in think. Northern Ireland, they have their own proxy government type thing. And then they have MPs that sit in the British government in the. Yeah. In, However, I think it's the DUP who wants a united island. They will, even though they've got MPs, they refuse to sit, take their seats in the British government. Mm. On principle. Uh, Laura said, what'd you say, Joe? I said, I don't need a close up. Oh. The pictures you sent. <laughs> I dread to think what Joe's getting sent. I'm afraid to look again. Yeah. I want to listen, and, I want and now it's just a, a close up of the bridge. What? Yeah. I'm, One Laura sent me. Yeah. I'm waiting for um, Joel to pick up that monitor and throw it across the room and go, <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> oh, God. It's only doing it to me now. David, check your messages. Yeah. Hey. David, give her a sleeping pill. Oh, I wish I could. Uh, Here's Tim. Shh. Don't talk about it. Shh. Good morning, Tim. Uh, good morning. Day, Tim. Mr. Tim. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. How y'all? Morning. How are you? Uh, uh, pretty good. Living the dream, Andrew. Living the dream. <laughs> Somebody got to pay taxes. Hey, you been, Dominic, you been busy today, PM. Tim, or no? Uh, a little bit. It's just pissing down with rain. No, Dominic, I said if you become PM, here. abolish, abolish the uh, taxes. I'll vote for you. Yeah. <laughs> See, how about Dominic, Matt, and Tim in government? Yeah, uh, no, thank you. Uh, Prime Minister but, and the uh, cabinet. Could you imagine that? Never really liked Australia anyway. Mm. <laughs> It'd be like meltdown. <laughs> I'll be on TV going, how are you doing? Yeah, you you've got Tim, you've got Tim doing all the news, all the news. How are you doing? Tim Dominic. would be the Tim would be the first one to get caught in a hotel room with a hook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing, Australia? Yeah. Matt's there. How'd you guess, Justin? How'd yeah. you guess? And then you'd have Matt going, you can only edit with Da Vinci. Any other bra Randy <laughs> bam. Yep. And Dominic, we all fuck off. I've not had my coffee yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Da Vinci's poster boy. Yeah, everybody has to have coffee at ten thirty in the morning. And eleven. And twelve. Think we, should... Check messages. Think we should start calling Matt Leonardo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or Mattiardo Da Vinci. He looks like he looks like a Ninja Turtle. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> or Matty. Yeah. Don't tell him I said that. Though. <laughs> well, good thing this odds? is private. Yeah, this is a good thing it's private. Yeah. Yeah. What are the odds he's listening in right now? Oh, my God. You'll find out. Uh, if he doesn't yeah, about 10 seconds. <laughs> if he's, if he's eight, working, eight I can... 
If he's working, nah, I can he's... almost bet he's worth listening. Nah, he's too busy uh, driving his Tonka truck. Yeah. Uh, he was... What time is I it think now? He's still, I think he's still asleep. 10. He might be. Yeah, he doesn't go until like 12 or 1 or some shit like that. Hmm. Yeah, he probably be. until 12 to 8. 12 to 8, I think he worked. Yeah, he'd probably just be getting well, up. Is to it, be honest. Uh, is it yeah, eight, I cool. reckon he'd be either just getting up or gets up in about half an hour. Is it yeah. 8 o'clock for you at the moment, Tim? Well, uh, eight for... Yeah, 8.42. Eight yeah. 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 Yep. 17 minutes to 9. Pissing down with rain and the contractor's still fucking working. Can't believe it. Yeah. Oh, uh, Matt is up. Thor said he was just on last. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's on his way to some road works um, in Australia somewhere. I'll have that bloody Tim. <laughs> yeah, I'll be going home. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See that big cunt walking down the street. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that concrete poured? No? Yeah. They did yesterday, oh. yeah. They got it done. That's good. We left. Yeah. Well, it's good that it's they raining did. today, then, if they poured the concrete yesterday, because they say wet concrete dries harder. Yeah. Now they uh, they covered yeah. it. And the only thing with covering concrete is it sweats. And that's the yeah. bad thing. They do that over here, like when they when they're a lot of when I've been watching them redo a lot of the sidewalks. After they mm-hmm. after it dries, the next day they'll come by and they'll be spraying it down with water with water yep. trucks. That's yeah. because the reaction that takes place when concrete hardens gives off heat. Yep. Yep. And it's the, the moisture if they cover it. Still come back on the or... panel, oh. Donald. Yeah, Don, come back. Well, I didn't actually read the whole bill, Donald. Justin so I was right. just <laughs> okay. We need we need him to we need uh, Don to come on the panel and say Justin is right, so we can. No, I don't it. need him to say that. Don. I'm just saying I didn't even read the whole bill. <laughs> I just was Don. going by what I saw read in the news. You know what we need to do? We need Don, Don to come back on the panel, and we all move on, and it's over with. That's yeah, right. Don, don't. Let's wait. Let's wait no matter, for what happens. Hold no on, matter but, how much we debate it and all, think about it, okay, we ain't gonna make a difference to it. Tim, what, what do you think? Uh, Speculation. Everybody done. Everybody yeah. done. Don't right. worry, uh, Donald. Their lawyers uh, will figure a way nope. around. <laughs> nope. Go ahead. Don, come back. On the, Don, come back on the panel. Justin had a Snickers bar, and everything is fine now. Everything's yeah. good. <laughs> Wait, you mean he's at his nuts? A Snickers or a marathon? Oh, oh no, not that one again. again. <laughs> yeah, have a Snickers bar. Yeah. Right, we haven't had marathon bars in years down here. No, 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 no. Don't go back. Don't go down you that road. See... We had the Curly you Whirly, did... which oh, is a marathon God. in America, and a marathon is a Snickers, and a... oh, my God. It all went off on my... And we've got... Yeah, we've yeah. still got Curly Whirlies. They're not called Curly Whirlies over there. The no, I'm saying marathons. here we've got curly whirlies. Yeah, the cold marathons aren't they, Justin? Uh, the ones oh, over oh, here. I don't even know if they still make those. I've never actually had one. I've just heard of them. So they look like a poor imitation of a curly whirly. Yeah. Well, that's everything America does. Poor imitation of the British. <laughs> 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 you are British. You can't. You can't get Justin going yet, uh, Dude, I, I went to. No, 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 no. I sit in the middle because Tim is still half American. No, so I'm the, that's not the point. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to wind Justin up here. I'm trying to get Donald back on the panel. I uh, did. Don, guys, <laughs> cooking. I went to two dollars. I don't know if there's a shortage oh, yeah, on super glue. glue. But I went to two different freaking dollar stores, and I, the only super glue I could find was up by the damn pan or up by the register. Mm. Dustin, little tip: go to the dollar store, go down the women's aisle. Right? Uh, they didn't even have any nail glue. You you know yeah. the little packs of nails to do the cheap shitty ones. Yeah, they didn't even the have any that. of that. 
No. They didn't have oh. no. But I found uh four <laughs> rolls for two dollars, so or four uh Okay, tubes. Don, we'll believe you. Yeah, um huh? I always buy the false nails just for the glue. Yeah, I think it's a. I don't know if it's the same exact makeup, but it smells like super glue, and that's, it works just as good. So. I think that, that's why. I think there's too many people sniffing it. That's why they. It is. It. It's a cyanoacrylate. Yeah, cyanoacrylate. Yeah. But I, uh, they had, uh, they actually had some tubes up by the register, and that was the only place I looked in. Hardware, nothing. I looked on the dollar aisle. Usually, they have the dollar tubes of it. I didn't have any of that. And then I went up to the register and they had two pretty decent sized tubes for a dollar. So I grabbed did four. Did you of go them. to see did you check <laughs> CVS or Walgreens? No. I don't shop at those stores. Those stores are too expensive. <laughs> They're way I, overpriced. I did find oh. something on Amazon by mistake. It said clear double sided sticker. And I was like, oh, what the hell's that? So I just bought it randomly. Mm -hmm. This stuff, whatever it is, any it'll stick anything because I've hung pictures, I've stuck carpet down, <laughs> and it took it took me two hours to pick up a freaking rug today. I stuck down last week thinking, and then I thought, nah, it doesn't look like there. Fucking hell, I couldn't get it up. Oh my god, Donald! Yeah, he said it's permanent war. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that sounds good, Mike. A burger from Applebee's. Oh my god. <laughs> oh okay. We're sorry, Don. Well, like I said, I didn't actually read the bill. I just was reading what the article said. And it was very it didn't like go into depth on everything. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really give a fuck about the bill. I just, I, I'm just mm. debating shell companies. Yeah, they're, yeah, well, they're shell companies are different the, over here than they are. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be I quite honest here. If they could ban TikTok over here in the UK, my life would be a lot better because I'd be yeah, able to I'm wake up and get a hug in the morning instead of waking up and seeing Laura strolling through TikTok. <laughs> shell Look just for so her next petrol. fucking video. Well, the next couple of weeks, you're going to be all TikTok around your house. Don't the kids all have TikTok? Only one of them. Oh, just Hannah? Yeah, the others are too young. Hannah doesn't use TikTok. Oh, Hannah doesn't use it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hannah can come around more often. Anyone that hates TikTok's welcome in my home. Isn't it? Shell just sells petrol. Uh, they're a gas station. So. <laughs> Shell's yeah, been a gas station for... Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, petrol, gas, for a diesel, long time. fuel... <laughs> it is well, it's, a, it's a gas station over here yeah but is yeah. it a gas station a or a petrol station. station or a servo yeah. a servo just, here just uh, they, call, they, call, they call it a petrol station don't gas servos things? go in RC planes and shit yeah see, as well we call them servos here Justin yeah. see Don in the chat farewell everybody <laughs> oh my god I don't know. Very dramatic. Hey, Donald, aren't you coming back? Yeah. Donald says even his cats are shutting. <laughs> My cats are shutting me now. My wife moved. Now me, me oh, now, and my wife moved to Nebraska. Okay. No, Donald, that's not the man in the iron mask. Oh, don't print. Don't don't correct them again. <laughs> That's why he's not coming on the panel because I was right. It's Rapunzel. Oh God, <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Down your hair. Yeah. Oh wait, your face is You like my niece, but. <laughs> Tell her to send back some cheese. Mm. Speaking of cheese. Where's Rob when you want to wind him up? Hey. 
Yeah, where is Rob? The Chase Shop. He's at the Chase Shop? <laughs> the Chase Shop. I don't care how fucking rain it is. Hand it over with all speed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm just quoting. It's a Monty Python quote. They, they do a... Um, they do a skit about the Chase Shop. You do see my penis bridge photo. So I actually found my ones. Yeah. Uh, where you get them. Don't they do a little song about that, Dominic? Oh, yeah. No, about the song about it. it the folks in says, I'd like <laughs> the same, it's the same, it's it's the cheese shop and then you got the pants. Lay down. Pants. I'm almost certain Sarah just told Justin to lay down. Come on. Lay well, down. She's talking to the dog. <laughs> She's over there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. She's over there oh, eating pizza and he's a, begging her. He's begging yeah, for have it. A, <laughs> No, she's not. A... She's on the other side of the camera going, Justin, I've got pizza. Lay down. Come on. Yeah. Roll over. Roll Beg. over. Play dead. Beg for it, Justin. Beg for it. You don't need to give me pizza to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wonder what's happened to Mikey now because he didn't come on again last night. Yeah, unless he's just going to go every second way. I thought that's what he was doing. Or unless he got they... arrested. <laughs> There's another one. No, I think he's oh. going to do it every second week, honestly. No, that was Ken that started doing every other week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ken does and every then, other week. And then it's and then it, Sammy starts it forced a few other Jenny. people to... Yeah. To do that. Out. But what's it? Ray and John have started doing that as well. They do oh, it the weeks on a Wednesday. Take that fucking shit with you. <laughs> out. You're Don't barred. talk to Laura like that. She's just blown a raspberry ripple and it absolutely humdingers. Out. <laughs> well, yeah. Bring me air for Butner. Better it's what what is uh uh Shrek say? Better to let it go and bear the smell than hold an ingot blown to hell. We're going to hell. Listen, I'm going to hell now, right? That is vile. We shorten that a bit, Paul. We just say better out than in. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think there's a us. I think uh, there's a movie and he says, better out than in, I always say. Yeah. yeah. But there's, sure. there's also yeah. the old, yeah, but there's also the other saying, if in doubt, let it out. Church or yeah. chapel, let it rackle. Yeah. Mm. Let it crackle. Uh, there's one. Frank. What? The quote Andrew just did. Yeah. Yeah, Laura, Laura, go over and go over and fire off another one for him. <laughs> She's not flying off, firing off any more globals. Oh my god! <laughs> turn, 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 turn around and aim it right at him. Laura. Hell no! <laughs> it like Daryl flying his drone, <laughs> looking for the methane yeah. leak. You hear what Donald said? What Donald yeah. say? That I might come back on if I can find my pride. I'm searching the bookshelf as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, we know you've always had pride. I'm it prejudiced. Might a, it might be a bit gay, but it's pride. Just get back on the panel. Come on. Chop, chop. Got to be something we can say to get him on here. Die Hard is in a Christmas movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had is a Christmas movie. No, I said it, it is. It, Christmas I think classic. it is. Uh, I think that'll. Oh, that. Should... Home Alone was... is a Christmas movie. Home Alone is a Christmas movie. Wait, up. who? Yeah. I'm, pretty sh I'm pretty sure Donald was on the side of the Home Alone was a Christmas movie. I Come think. On. As I said, if a movie takes place during Christmas Wait. and has a Christmas theme and has Christmas music, 
then that's that seemed to be the template we were discussing. Yeah, Mark. Okay. I think to avoid a national uh, international riot here, we should <clears throat> change the subject to you being a scouser and not a Mancunian, like mm -hmm. Wells Rob said. Just so <laughs> we, you know, we only have a regional riot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we could always go back to the regional riot here of potato cake versus potato scallop. <laughs> that that'll, that that could rile up Tim as well. Here we go. Scallop, scallop. I thought oh. that'd get him back. I thought that'd get him to unmute his mic. <laughs> you could but always the cakes. You just don't know. You How could high always scallop them all. TJ? <laughs> Go you could on. always bring Bradford into the what's it as well uh -oh. and have a cake, a cake butty. <laughs> yeah. you... Mark, got a question for you now. Have it's... you had a pie sandwich? Yes. Thank you. That is just. <clears throat> Laura, <throat> Laura thinks it's wrong. <laughs> right? Me what is wrong with getting a slice of bread, chucking a pie? No, on a butter pie cake. or a cheese onion I'm pie. I'm vegetarian. I'm, I'm like, a lot of I'm tomato sauce. More the merrier. Slap yeah. it on top. Even Tim's making the noise I feel when, when you're on about it. Yeah, but you can't <laughs> do it on a slice. If I said being on salty, do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we've agreed on that, Don. Yeah. Christmas In has Brad's, to be uh... a significant factor. In the climax of the well, morning. A cake Perfect. butty is a bit like a scallop. It's a slice of potato, but then it has a piece of fish on top of it, and the whole thing is battered as one thing. I want to know why we have to batter I've it. I've never heard I mean, of that. Well, why do we have to batter it? What, why the violence? Exactly. Yeah. That's a new meaning. Mildly annoy it. <laughs> That's a new what meaning, term? the fish and oh. chips. Right. Oh, new meaning. Okay, Mark. Yeah. Is it a chip bap, a chip roll, a chip butty, or a chip balm? No. I'll probably call it a bap. It's a chip muffin. Oh, I have a hearing <laughs> Well, that's a new one to go to the chippy with. Yeah, going out. Chip. Yeah, because I went into the uh, chippy the other week and I said, can I have a chip barn, please? And he went, no, we don't do chip barns here. I went, can I have a chip bath? And he went, nope. And I went, can I have a chip roll? He went, nope. I was like, oh, God's sake. I went, a chip butty. He went, you can have one of them. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> southern bastard. <laughs> I thought we called him chip bath. Yeah, there's always, there's always a different name for certain things over here. A bath yeah, is one of them things that's inside a woman's bra. Yeah, they're yeah, bad. Yeah, you do. Uh, oh, they're melons. I oh, like how Tim said, How are you doing? Look at that. Yeah. No. <laughs> now, would you, you like, would you like a bap on a piece of bread? Yeah, ben coming back in. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. Laura, go away. Yep. I haven't been inside a brawl. Give me one moment. <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> I told you you need to start wearing them more often. Yeah. I gave that up. <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> uh, the older you uh, get, they yep. start to help it so that your bollocks don't hit the floor. Yep. <laughs> They're starting to sag. Fuck yeah. I'm back. I'm okay. coming out of my shorts every time I wear shorts. Yeah, I hate that problem. Mm. <laughs> Never happens when uh, a woman's around. No? What, is, what did you say, Tim? What do you got in your shorts? My nuts come out of my shorts when I oh. sit down. <laughs> oh. You don't want to hear what Laura shouted. His balls uh -oh. are dropping. There's a new body cam. That's footage, what man. happens with old age, Tim. It does. Yeah, thanks. Especially pretty, warm pretty, weather. pretty soon you'll be walking with knee knockers. Yeah. Oh, hey, Chuck. Hey, Check this out. There's new body cam footage out. Two people got drunk and passed out on the beach and then oh. lost their kids. Oh, Paul. Wait. 
they 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 passed out on the beach and when I I have to watch the body cam footage. I haven't watched it, but from what I'm taking from the title, they passed out on the beach, woke up, and their kids were gone. No, nah, <laughs> their kids they got were arrested. Gone. Yeah, they got arrested. Holy shit. Jesus. Freaking idiots. Uh, Why would they have uh, never mind. Uh, That's... from what I heard, one of them had a shot, then the other had a shot on that another shot like her, and then they both had did one more and then they fell asleep. Nah, that's not enough to make somebody pass out like that. No, is it mm-hmm. why I would mean, they I... drink around their kids anyways? Why would they drink mm. when they have and their kids with the, them at a beach? The kids are like five. Steve, why would you seven. drink on the beach firstly? Oh well, well, it's usually why have you never had most... um, a sex on the beach? It's illegal to drink on the yeah. beach in most places anyway. And when mom and dad were arrested, the mom was about and ready to slap been, the husband. Now I've been bottles or cans. Now, if you had maybe... Saying, why... Go ahead, Tim. I'm just saying, why would you even drink when you have your kids at the beach? You're with right. your kids. That's like a beach. family why day, would... right? Mm. Right. Yeah, you fucking didn't drink. I like that. <laughs> like both parents, too. Like, so, that's... A... Apparently, now Grandpa has the kids. Well. Good. You know, I I would say if it was extremely hot, like say it was like 100 degrees and you were laying down on the sand in the beach and you had maybe four shots, it might be enough from the heat and alcohol to make you pass Mm. out. But even then, like, I don't think one or two shots would do that. They probably lied about how much they drank. Yeah. I'd almost guarantee it. Because. Most people that get pulled over for DUIs always lie about what they, how much they drank. Exactly. Well, only had two beers six hours ago, and they're fucking sloshed all over the place. And they, yeah, it's like no beers, fucking way. Yeah, yeah. You only had two beers to blow right. into this. And, <laughs> and said person time, can't even stay standing up. <laughs> every time I get stopped by an RB2, RBT, they say, have you had anything to drink? I said, yeah, about eight. <laughs> I might say 10, but it always blew zero, zero. They're like, damn, what'd you drink? Non-alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I got stopped at an RBT one time. I had a beer between my legs. He fucking went off. I was like, look at the bottle. And he just looked at me <laughs> with a son of a bitch. I said, you can't get me for this. Hello? Yeah, it'd be one thing if, like, you and your wife were going out on the beach by yourselves and you guys wanted to do a little sneaky drinking, you know? You passed out for a little bit and woke up and then went home. But, yeah, when you got your, you're having a family outing with your kids, yeah, it's definitely not a time to be drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck that. No, that's stupid. Because they they found the kids down the street at the hotel at the pool. Kids are well drinking a couple of uh, pina coladas. (laughs) <laughs> lucky they're they're lucky their kids weren't floating in the fucking ocean, the dumbasses. Yeah, yeah. Kids were playing, and ended up going down to the hotel. Well, I know, but Tim's saying luckily because I don't know how old the kids were, but you know, if that was five a small, seven. yeah, five and seven years old, bro. Yeah, he, yeah. He, they, uh, Tim. Tim's right. He's they're lucky that those fucking kids didn't go out in the water and fucking drown because mm, they were unsupervised. Geez. It'd be one thing if they were like. That pisses me off because I had so much trouble trying to see my kids. You know, I had to go to fucking court and all that shit. And these cunts are out there, got their kids, and they're drinking on the beach on a fucking with their kids with fucking mm. stupid fucking assholes. I need a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Grab some nuts. Here, I'll put the link for the the video on the chat if so anybody wants to watch it later. The was that done on operator or someone different? Uh, no, it wasn't him. Oh, fucking YouTube refresh and I lost it. Hold on, <laughs> I'll find it. If you watch it, go through your history. No, I didn't watch it. I just ran across it in my feed. I'll oh, find okay. it though. That's why I just opened it in a new tab. Uh, no, I found it. I know what channel it was on. Is one that I'm subscribe to so I just gotta find it yeah it could turn into a rabbit hole 
it's law and crime if you uh don't know that channel and you like watching body cam footage uh that's a good one it's always good to have it in the background i've noticed send it to me a message something on the computer all right did anybody see uh uh, biden gave a speech and then uh he couldn't resist he sees this woman over in the crowd with the baby so he strays away and goes and sits with the woman with the baby. Hmm. Why not? Biden. He probably he probably wanted a pet from the baby. <laughs> yeah. I got some mega as you can feel. <laughs> uh, first. My first thought right was is this another scene from the Pope? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But no, Donut Operator, I really like his channel. That dude's funny. Yeah, as I yeah. said, I have I have that on in the background when I'm doing something on the computer. It's always good to keep yourself occupied. And what's great about his channel is he puts a link for his other channel in the description, and it's all the unedited body cam footage. Yeah. So you can if you once he does his breakdown, then you can go watch the unedited version mm. over on his other channel. Because he ha- he kind of heavily edits it on his own personal channel, but he has a secondary <laughs> channel that he puts all the unedited shit on. <clears throat> but yeah, he does really good breakdowns. He's actually an ex-cop, so he kind of understands how they do things and stuff, and he does really good breakdowns. <clears throat> Boobies. Yeah, Law and Crime's a really good uh, YouTube channel if you like that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I sent you the link and message time. All right. It's only two that's minutes long, him. so I'm assuming that's all the body cam footage they released of it. So, Tim, how's your cat? Yeah, she's doing all right. Yeah. What's up, Burger? Hi, Burger. Burger, your stiffness. What's up, Mark? Your stiffness. Hey, Somebody hey, clicked that. Mortis, your stiffness. Rigor is the man. That's a great sound, boy. Yep. So you got all your pictures delivered today, Jeff? Yes, sir. And he hands me two checks of people that he had that uh, looked like they'd been in a washing machine. And yeah. I didn't order those pictures originally. So now they got to get ordered. They were checks? Yeah. But look up. Oh, wet. Jesus. Yes. Are they still okay. good? Yeah, they got signatures on them and they're good. I put them in the bank. If you get them, if you get them wet again, you can uh, scratch the numbers off and put yeah. your own price on them. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting to hear if the bank says anything mm-hmm. about them, so I could bring them in and say, "Here's the envelope. Look, here's the envelope. One of them was in." <laughs> well, yeah, well, just so, put, just pop them in the dryer. No, uh, leave them just like that. They, they all they've been, they were in his uh, backpack. Oh, okay. I guess it's better see the stuff he threw out of his backpack. He said, That's probably got stuff in there for three or four years. So now I got two orders I got to place, but I'm waiting on one of them's address. Yeah. If I don't get her address, I'll just order. I'll, I'll mail it to the school under the coach. I ought to do that anyway. Send it to the coach. Well, worst case there. scenario, if those checks aren't no good, you're just going to have to send them back to the parents, tell them you need a new one. Well, they got to be good. The, the, I put it like this: the, uh, I put them in. Uh, one of them went in automatic. One of them I had to put in manual, and took pictures of them. I did. Them oh, you did them. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was yeah, gonna say, so oh, or you could go to the ATM and do it too. I've done that yeah. before. I'll just do that because it's, it's got a signature. The signature is legible. The signature is not bad on both, except this guy is like. I don't know what. Uh, is it like a signature? Doctor? 
I really just don't see the point in checks anymore, honestly. It, like it just seems uh, so. What you... Just seems so, yeah. uh, just like not necessary these days. Because some doctors have the worst uh, signature. EMTs. Yeah. Oh, uh, doctors have just <laughs> shitty handwriting. Period. <laughs> yeah. And it's in uh, not necessarily female doctors. It's usually male doctors that have the bad handwriting. The worst bit is though. Uh, Hey, a doctor can write a note in a squiggly line, and you're like, what the hell? You take it to another doctor, he goes, hi, ah, yeah, you're going here for your prostate exam. How mm-hmm. yeah. oh, you know about <laughs> that squiggly line? That's because it's shorthand. <laughs> my grandma... Years ago, Dad my... got a few scripts for his foot something, and I'm like, what the hell does this say? I'm no, that's all screen. electronic now. The only ones that you this have to was hand. this was handwritten. The only ones that you have to physically take in anymore is uh, if it's for narcotics, but uh, all the other prescriptions are sent over. Uh, yeah, same here. Uh, electronic now. The only ones that you have to physically take in is uh, for narcotics. I get mine through yeah. text. Hey, okay, also but... morphine electronically transferred. Yeah, everything. Yeah, already. they. Had... They don't do that. And, and and even the ones that you have to take in, they usually are a printed sheet with everything typed out on it. So it's usually a sheet you have to take in and hand them. So like, it's a, uh, the, the, uh, day, the day of prescription pads isn't a thing anymore. They don't, uh, doctors C2. don't use those no more. Uh, we don't even C- go and get prescriptions anymore. We phone, email the doctor to say what we want. The doctor on repeat prescriptions. The doctor just electronically sends it to wherever the chemist is you're picking it up from. Mark's like, I'll take a, uh, I'll take a, some morphine with a side of codeine, please. <laughs> well, Kate gets that anyway. Yeah. But it's got it. It's not, you can only order what you've been prescribed. <laughs> That's not the way he just said it. He said, like, you guys can just order Mark, whatever you Mark, want. Don't, <laughs> Mark, don't you have to check so long as it's who's the got what you need? To be honest, there are some doctors you can walk in there and they'll, they'll, they'll literally, as they'll, soon as you sit down, they go, so what medication do you want? And they're just ready to give you whatever you ask for. Because they uh, don't give a shit. They just want you out. A lot of people go down to Mexico and get medication because you don't. Even, you can just walk into a pharmacy and buy whatever you want. You don't even have to have a oh, prescription. Now, now the have got the foggiest idea what's actually in it. Now the problem with that is fake fentanyl with whatever you want. Get a side of cocaine, please. Have you noticed here? You 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 don't want the medicines coming in here, but you want to go over there and picnic their uh, medication. Jeez, <laughs> that's because people will go over there and buy like a thousand Percocets and try to sneak them over the border. It's mainly to make money. It's just like smuggling any other drug over. That's all they're doing. Is they go over there and get. You know, Percocets on pennies on the dollar, and then they bring them up here and sell them for like nine to fifteen dollars a pill. You know, <clears throat> so why people make so much money off of pills, dude. Somebody gets a uh, like a ninety day prescription for like fucking Percocets, bro. That's big money right there. You, you could have a couple grand in your hand right there, and that prescription might only cost you like twelve dollars or fifteen dollars at the pharmacy, or it might have even been free depending on your insurance. Yep. Our prescriptions are ten pound an item now, something like that. I mean, is it that, is it that much now? Jesus! Yeah. Like, do do the math, right? You have a thirty day supply. Usually, it's about sixty pills because they give you about two a day. Now, times that, like, you're selling them for usually a dollar a milligram. So, if it's a Percocet, ten ten milligrams. Do the math. Ten dollars times sixty. That shit adds up, bro. That's some money right there. <clears throat> yeah. I take it you get yours free, David, as well. Yeah. Yeah. I but Mark, but Mark, don't you have to check to see who has what you want for uh, now? Each pharmacy or chemist. Now all the pharmacies um, have everything. If they don't have you it, think, you'll just get a little. Uh, no, to say they'll um, get it in for you. Uh, see so here, we'll... they here they each pharmacy orders from their warehouse, 
they know what they put in for. They don't know how much they're going to get from the warehouse. Yeah, but if you over here though, if one pharmacy doesn't have it, you can take a prescription to another pharmacy. Yeah, yeah, just say, yeah. Well, yeah. But the only thing is, is like, say it's like birth control, or say it's like, uh, um, like diabetic diabetic medication. They can actually call the other pharmacies and find out mm. if they have it. If it's narcotics, they don't. So, like when Sarah oh, yeah. went to go yeah. get my prescription for my Percocets when they had me on the hydrocodone. You mean your birth control for my, pills? For my kidney stones? No. <laughs> for my kidney stones. <laughs> you had to go. Unfortunately, the pharmacies wouldn't call around and ask because of security reasons. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She had to go to four different pharmacies before she finally found one that had them. Because there's a, there's a few pharmacies around here that have not had Adderall for two years. Mm. Well, one of the biggest problems was, was it, like, was yeah. it Purdue? Wasn't it Purdue, the, yeah. uh, the big uh, thing that got destroyed in that uh, tornado? Mm. Wasn't it a, a, somewhere here in the U.S.? I think it was a Purdue factory. And they said it was going to take like two or three years to get that factory back online after that. And that put a quite a big dent in uh, some medications. Yeah. I think it was Purdue. I can't remember which company it was. No, no, it was Johnson & Johnson. I think it was Johnson & Johnson. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, one of them, I think it's Tita or Tiva, is one of the biggest makers of Adderall. And they they make it from Israel. Yeah, a couple of years ago, they had um, a shortage of epilepsy medication over here. And um, when I went in to get my prescription, the woman said, well, could you take it every other day to um, allow somebody else to have some? I was like, <laughs> I'm supposed to take it fucking five times, uh, well, I think it's eight times a day. But it's equivalent to eight times a day. It's like six, four in the morning, Six in the morning, two at night. Yeah, so that one bottle I said would make you six hundred bucks. That's my that's a paycheck for most people. <clears throat> now you imagine that. now you imagine doing ninety day per script. Yeah. That's what twelve eighteen hundred dollars you can make off it's of it. It's a that. criminal offense over here. No, it's criminal over here too. It's not legal to sell your medication. Do you think? It, uh, <laughs> do you think? Do you think Donald is still curled up in the corner somewhere? Yeah, maybe. And this is why, when doctors over here put you on pain meds, like if you actually get a prescription for pain meds, they'll actually test you every couple of weeks, and if it's not in your system, because some people will go get the pain meds and never take them, they'll just sell them. So they actually test you randomly. They'll they'll have you come in randomly and test you, and if it's not in your system, they'll they'll cut you off like that. So it has you to don't be in, you. it has to show that it's in your system. That's one of the ways they try to combat people from selling it instead of taking it like they're supposed to. So they'll uh, the, that's what they'll actually test you to make sure it's in your system. Well, they'll have you do a piss test. I'll admit I don't always take my meds, but that's because some of them are fucking. Oh, uh, the rigor, dude, extremely hard to get down here. Like, um, as far as even from just doctors, dude, doctors down in Florida are because of the new laws and everything. And most doctors nowadays, they don't want to write you any kind of pain meds unless it's an absolute necessity. Like, like when I was having my kidney stone issues, they were actually writing me pain meds. But other than that, like if I went in there for 90% of any other things, it'd be ibuprofen. That's what they want to give everybody, ibuprofen. Yeah, yeah. Ibuprofen. ibuprofen is not even a pain med. It's an anti-inflammatory. Right, but that's what they'll give you for fucking everything. They'll either give you ibuprofen 600 or they'll give you the 800. Yeah, 800. But you could just go... I only got the five hundreds. But you can go over to the store and buy over the counter and take four. Lot. You can take four of them over the counter that are two hundred milligrams, and it's an eight hundred milligram. Hey, ibuprofen. Justin, did you read what what uh, Donald put in the chat? I stole fish eyes blue blanket to snuggle with until I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> He 
He's taking it pretty it hard. I got booted no, off he's... of Zoom when I get a phone call. <laughs> See, I never did, and neither does Dominic. I never got That's booted off. What it would do is it would put the, the Zoom in the background, and it would mute it. Yeah, yeah, it and does. Then when I took the call, and then once I hang up, it would come back up again. Yeah. Oh, That's... by the way, bye, Andrew. Didn't do it for me. Yeah, it, it. it may, it may, honestly, it might be certain phones that only do it. It might be just the settings. It, it could be settings yeah. or it could just be particular phones just happen to yeah. let you. It's probably, it's probably a setting in my phone. It's, like it. Out in a few minutes. It, it's just like you can take Zoom and you can close, you can minimize it and pull up YouTube and, uh, when you minimize Zoom, it will go into a little box, and then yeah, you can yeah, go to yeah. YouTube and pull the chat yeah, up and just I pause. When I'm, I can do that in text at the same yeah. time. And then you pause okay. YouTube, and then it just puts it in speaker view in the little box. Has anybody you I tested the Samsung AI yet? I can't do that on my phone. I can't. No. It's all to do on an iPhone. No, because the Samsung AI is only in the I or in the um. It's coming to the S twenty. It's coming to the S twenty three Ultra in the next yeah. couple of weeks. Apparently, any, any other ones before that? I think the twenty yeah. Ultra, the Ultra S twenty one can have it. I thought it was S twenty three and the twenty four. Twenty four has get already got it because obviously it's with that. Yeah, but, but I'm it's almost it's positive. It's, all... it's three generations apparently. Uh, so I think that's the S twenty one, isn't it? No, it'd be the twenty two. And the because they, they, twenty four is the new one because 20, they made it they made well. they made it for the twenty four so it'd be the twenty four twenty three and twenty two if that's what you're saying yeah what about yeah the, but it's only going that? in the ultras right what Tim what about what about the S thirty well oh, for fuck's sake the yes, I've I've already seen the S thirty it's in your finger yeah. <laughs> adapter in your wrist <laughs> you see what Riker said so Don I heard Justin was right and you were wrong he said damn I was just recovering Riker <laughs> <laughs> back to my show okay. it's coffee time so I'll see you in a few minutes happy uh, time drive yeah. no because if, if there is any kind of AI I don't I haven't noticed anything new on my phone and no I just it's not here update. yet it's in a couple of weeks uh, okay, because I'll say I just did an update a few days ago. Yeah, so. which one have you got? The twenty-two. I got the twenty-eight. <laughs> Itchy's going to be there in a couple of weeks. That's your AI. Uh, uh, yeah, I have the standard twenty-two. I don't have the twenty-two ultra. I just have the standard twenty-two. Well, pretty much anything you got is standard anyway. <clears throat> mm. 75 hertz, Tim. 75 hertz. I <laughs> kiss my ass by 15. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, might I might change that next week. Well, three weeks from now. So I'm getting the motherboard this week. CPU. Hold on, week. Tim. I got a stretch. Oh. Right. Um, <laughs> fucking illegal. Justin, <laughs> this doesn't happen quite often, but you're right twice in two night, in a night. It's the S23, <laughs> S23. All the S23 series, F23 FE, the Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, yeah. and Tab 9 series. Yeah, I was almost positive when I read it a few weeks ago. It said it was only going back to the 23. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to write this date down. Tim being right twice and Don being right wrong, wrong once. Not Tim, me. Justin. Don't, go, don't give Tim that credit. I'm always right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, I didn't think Tim. Oh, uh, Tim, you, you should. You don't. Count. You should. You, Tim, you should have heard my conversation when I was messaging Sean earlier. I was like, man, because uh -huh. I was like, dude, this program is pissing me off. I was like, I can't figure it out. And he was like, just calm down. I was like, and, and I was messaging back. I was like, I finally figured this fucking program for fuck's sake. And uh, he was like, oh, I was just trying to help. I think he thought I was mad at him. I was like, no, I was just trying to prove that I'm not Tim. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Uh, oh, uh, Justin. Okay. Remember that. Remember that. Yeah. The S22 was on the list, but it's it's having a few issues. 
but it should be later in the year. Hopefully, you'll get it, but it will only be in the camera. Is that later no, or later? Never mind. Honestly, I don't even use my camera to be uh, too often anyway. So, well, I'm getting uh, the S23 S24 Ultra in a couple of weeks. So, no, nah, I probably won't upgrade for about another year, at least. I mean, I can get it tomorrow if I want to, but I think it upset Laura. She has to wait a couple of weeks. She can get over it. She'll be fine. What's up, TJ? TJ, hey, 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 David, it's best not to piss Laura off. She'll give you another blast. Oh, Joe wants to know if you got a sticker from. Oh, or TJ geez. wants to know if you got a sticker, Joe. I haven't checked the mail today. I didn't get it yesterday. <laughs> okay. Paul, oh, she's already been when banished from the you, bedroom. What's up, Mike? When you when you see Dom walking, does do you like picture to yourself? Watching a seventy porn theme song playing in the background. When you see him walking, yeah, he needs his like own theme music while he's walking. Yeah. I can hear the theme from a seventies porn. No, no, yeah, it was Family Guy when Peter wished to have his own theme music from the genie. And every time he got up and started walking, it'd be like dun 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 dun, dun. and then everybody was getting pissed <laughs> off at him. <laughs> weren't there another weren't there another episode with Stewie following um his brother with, yeah, a with the, yeah, or was it a trombone or a tuba? Tuba. Might have been yeah, a trombone. Was, yeah, tuba. Yeah, yeah, it was the big ass tuba burr, horn. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like I'm just trying to live my life. Nobody told me about carbs. <laughs> when he ended up falling over, he's like, "That'll be thirty bucks." <laughs> uh, it's like uh, King of Rexter and Mardi Gras. He has a theme song. It's well, uh, I will never cease to love. And every time he takes a step, the band has to play it during the oh. parade when the float's moving. Uh -huh. That's like eight hours. The band's playing nothing but that song. Oh Jesus. That would be crazy. Yes. Yes. You said my name. What do you want? What you want? What you want? What you is? I'll take a million dollars. He fucking wish. You know what movies, <laughs> uh, you know what cheesy ass movies, but were kind of cool that I watched last night was, I watched two out of the four was The Wishmaster. You remember those movies? Nope. Yeah, that was like early 80s. No, no, no. They were two of them were like in the night early nineties, and then the other two were in the early two thousands. One was two thousand one, uh, one was two thousand two. Yeah, they, 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 now the other one, I think. Halo. Oh yeah, Halo, dude. The second season is fucking awesome. Don't tell me anything. Shut up, Only on the fifth episode right now. Season one. And the next one I'm going to watch, Rigger, is the one where he goes to prison. That's the one I'm going to watch. There's so many movies that people go into prison, so which one? That doesn't clarify anything. Because uh, he's talking about Wishmaster in the chat. Uh, so I'm answering him. I said I'm going to watch the one where he goes to prison. He knows all the movies, so he knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> is that on Netflix? Uh... No, I watched it on uh, uh, Movie 4K. Uh, okay. That Movie 4K pissed me off because it's up there. Madam Web off of it. Well, well, the Madam Web that was on there was a theater shoot, wasn't it? So they yeah, probably took it. Camp. Yeah, they probably took it off because they're probably going to upload an HD version of it. But uh, honestly, it's yeah. been out long enough now. Corey might be able to get it. Uh, if he can, he, it will. If it's out, it'll automatically download. It if he it. if he has it in his list, it will. But you gotta. That's why you gotta let him know which ones because he puts them in a list, and then when they when he gets a good HD copy, it will reach out and grab it. <clears throat> 
I actually found one movie that uh, had the wrong title and let him know, and he had to, he went in and fixed it. It was uh, it had the the um, movie cover and the title and the description and everything, but the movie that was on there wasn't the right movie. And I told him, I said, dude, I sat and watched the movie that was on there. It wasn't really all that bad. I watched it, I said, but it wasn't the right movie. I said, none of the characters that are on the cover are, are in the movie. And then he went in and looked at it and realized that it was the wrong movie on there. So he went in and fixed it. <clears throat> I just saw the sickest thing that I didn't want to see. I honestly think oh, Fish Eye should do movie reactions, Donald. That'd be hilarious. My, uh, my wife just drove through my site and waved at me. Hmm. Mrs. Future, ja Future Jackson. No, that my wife, my actual wife, just drove through my website. Like, your ex? Oh, your ex-wife? Yeah, we're not divorced yet. They're not divorced. Uh, He's still married. Still married. <laughs> Was it a wave, or did she flip you off? So when she gets <laughs> pregnant, she she, when, she, when she gets pregnant again by somebody else, it's still his because they're still oh, married. Dang. Oh hell no! Yeah, oh, hell no. The hell did you get that logic from, Paul? Well, it's that's the law. <laughs> it's the law. If you're married and you your wife gets pregnant, it's yours. You're not the biological father, but you're automatically the stepdad. You're, you're the fa you're the father and responsible for their well being and financial support until the age of eighteen. Fuck, I am. I'm just a sperm donor. <laughs> I, I fuck I am. That's what I told the cops when I tried to get to see my daughter. I said, if you can't help me, and I gotta go back to just a sperm donor, I am. He just looked at me. I wonder why the fuck she waved at me like that. Well, if the, cop, if the cops over there are like over here, yeah, they can't do shit because that's considered a uh, a court thing, so they won't do shit. Yeah, unless civil, a, unless you have a court order, they won't do jack shit to help you. It's a civil. You gotta yeah. go back to court. I didn't have the money to go back to court. Because she breached it, fuck, I don't know, 30 times. You sure that was a wave and not a flip? Nah, that's she knows how to flip, believe me. She knows how to flip the finger. She I mean, that's like... That's like the ones that call the cops and say, oh, he owes me money, dude. The cops ain't going to do nothing about that. That's a civil matter. You got to take that person to court or you just suck it up and take the loss. One of the two. Yeah, my, my son will say, that's a civil matter. You got to go to court. Bye. <laughs> Donald, said, Tim, Bye. <laughs> Donald said Tim's not just a sperm donor. He receives it, too. <laughs> Jesus. Talking about personal experiences there, Don. <laughs> and then TJ pops in the chat. There you go, Don. Stick <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, TJ. Hmm? Hey, TJ, come on a pound. Uh, he don't get off till nine o'clock, I think. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's on. He's probably on break right now, or he's playing on his phone. He's supposed to be working. Yeah, he don't get off for. He said he doesn't get off. I think till nine o'clock. Ew! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> TMI. I want to know when TJ yeah. gets off. In, in reality, Tim, unless you guys are on good terms, I guarantee that smile was vindictive. Nah, it couldn't be the vindictive. Couldn't be because karma got a hold of her. At good time. Oh, I know. I'm saying last she probably time. walked by. Ha -ha, fucker. And she was driving by. <laughs> now, nah, last time she waved at me like that, it was about six years ago. And uh, we met up. And she goes, oh, I broke up with my boyfriend. And I, and I got up off the picnic table and left. So, nope. Excuse <laughs> you, TJ. You've been home all day. And we've asked you to come on like three panels. And you have not showed up. I thought you were working today. Oh no, he's been 100%. pissing off today. Yeah, he he, he, he cut. Yeah, he he called in. Oh, I, I got flesh eating virus, but I'll be all right tomorrow. 
<laughs> no, I think I just mean, fell off, but I'll be in work tomorrow. There's nothing like having an incurable disease and then you're okay the next day. Yeah, yeah you just ring them up and say, I lost my legs, I can't come in today. And then the next day, and you go in, you go, I found them. They're under the bed. Oh, I had the blanket pulled up too far, and it scared the shit out of me. I didn't know where they were. <laughs> no, no, I don't expect laughing emojis in the chat, TJ. I expect your ass to get on the panel. <laughs> there we can we can we just rephrase that? Can we have your face and not your ass? Hey, Y'all yo. are, are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> flesh, eating, flesh eating virus. Hey, <laughs> CJ, so what happened with your computer, bro? Well, no, like the, 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 like the sound the sound is all like distorted or whatever. I think when um when uh what's his name uh sent it to me, like the the sound was all like all kind of fucked up so i ordered some new speed i ordered some new uh some new speakers for it they're supposed to come uh I has it always been messed up yeah i think so i think so and i'm like god that just sounds horrible well and how do so you uh, i mean how do you think so though i mean you've had the computer for like over a year now well just yeah. like just like because what gone? he did he just turned it on has it gotten <laughs> well, no. <laughs> well no like i'll well, hold on. I'll. I mean, did it sound that bad two weeks ago, or did it something that? Yeah, just I think it's. I think it's been like it's been like that. I think. So you've never used the speakers on it before? Yeah, I've used the speakers for it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, have, has it always been like that, or I think is? So. What do you I mean? Think you think so? so? <laughs> <laughs> well, it might have been, but I never listened. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, on every I, I off it, day, you know. Uh, uh, I think it's, I, <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll, I'll let you listen to it. Hold on, we're not gonna be able to hear it because of Zoom. Yeah, noise canceling. Yeah, we won't be able to hear it anyway. So, uh, but what I'm saying is, uh, uh, that's why I was asking: was it something that just happened, or was it something that I, was, it, was it always sounding was... bad? Yeah, I think it. I don't know. I think it was I'm pretty sure that was a brand new laptop that when David sent that to you. Yeah. Because he had a, a quite a few brand new MacBooks still in the box. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something got lo maybe something got loose in the in the wiring system or something. I, I don't know. Well, it could maybe be a speaker. You just didn't set the speakers. You just didn't yeah. spec the equalizer and shit on. Yeah, it could be something with the speakers and the settings. No, I don't know. You gotta find your sound settings and go in there and mess around with them. Yeah, I mean, turn it off muffle. To be honest, though, I mean, if you're using the laptop ninety percent of the time at home, it doesn't hurt to have the external speakers anyway, just because laptop speakers tend to sound like shit anyway. Yeah, I mean, they they're the type of speakers that get you by when you're out and about, but they're not the best sounding quality. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, go. Yeah. Just and, make sure and, you turn off muffle. And two, it could have been whatever you were trying to listen to, too. Like, you could listen to one video on YouTube and it sounds really good, and then you go watch a movie on Netflix and it sounds like shit because of right. the, the audio that they have coming through could sound different. The question is, yeah. is sounding shit now as we're talking to you? He's on his phone, so. Trying to listen to, too. Like, you could listen to one video on YouTube and it sounds really good. And then you go watch a movie on Netflix. It sounds like shit. Is that, is that your speakers? Yeah. Can you kind of hear it? Yeah. They don't sound bad on my end. No, it sounds all right. My end. It, 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 but like I said, I, I think his expectations of laptop speakers was a lot higher than <laughs> than he realized. Yeah. <laughs> DJ, wait. Yeah, maybe. Get a, get a Q-tip and clean out both ears and then try it. Uh oh. <laughs> It it's sounded pretty good. Not to speak because it's his ears. <laughs> no, what I think it is, I think he had the expectation that he was getting Dolby surround sound. Like he had, <laughs> yeah, like it was like yeah, three, that's what it was. like yeah. it was like not, a ten thousand dollar laptop. No, yeah, <laughs> no. I thought it, it's just like lap, laptop cameras, dude. I've seen some of the best, like nicest laptops, and they always have shitty ass cameras. Not all of there are a few out there that have good cameras, but majority of them have really shit webcams. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just like I can, I can hear this. Like I can hear this staticky, like kind of noise in, in the speakers, but it, it's like it's just I don't know. Is it crackling? Yeah, yeah. like cra like a crackle, like a crackling noise. Yeah. Uh, that When's could the be, last uh... time you had your hearing done? When's the last time you Tonight had your hearing checked? Okay. Uh, well, if it's crackling, that could be multiple things. It could be a blown speaker. It could be, you know, oh, like the, if it's got if it's got a speaker cone in there that could be cracked, or he spilt something or, on. You didn't spill any water or anything in there, did you? No, uh, uh. Or the volumes turned all the way up. Well, you, I, I, I did. I did. Your have... laptop did it. I did have the volume all the way up for a minute just so y'all could hear like the sound or whatever, but yeah, no, but I, could, I don't think it's that. It could also be just a bit of dust in there. Or you know, it could be could even be a faulty battery or power supply. Because that normally uh, I think he has I think he has to go through his settings. Honestly, I, I'm under the assumption that TJ had this like five thousand dollars surround sound expectation, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't that. <laughs> but like I said, if you're using that at home, a majority of the time, having a good external set of speakers to watch movies and shit with isn't a bad way to go, anyway. Yeah, I mean, hell, I just ordered like some new speakers, so when they arrive, I'm gonna uh, ride up to Matt's house and. Uh, he's gonna put them in for me. He said they're pretty easy, but I don't want to. I don't want to do. Oh, you put your internal speakers. You just huh? plug them in. Yeah. Hold on. Why do you have to have somebody plug in your speakers for you? Just plug them into the headphone <laughs> jack. No, 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 no. Like they're the internal ones. Internal they're, speakers. They're, yeah, the ones that go in inside in, inside the laptop. Oh, for fuck's sake! Don't let people rip your laptop apart to don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. recommend that if I were you. Take, you it, take it to a shop. Seriously, yeah. bro. Like, um, working on laptops is a whole different animal. Yeah, see, um, if, see if Bill will do it for you. Yeah, if uh, anything, Uncle, I would... Uh, let Uncle Bill do it? I yeah. would get a... Yeah. Bill would be the most qualified person that you know that would be remotely... Yeah. Even it's either to that or go to a shop or you get a warranty with it. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, is a lot of shops won't cover you buying your own parts. Oh yeah, true. They want to buy the parts so they can. Yeah, there's nothing they... to stop them sending them parts back. I don't know. I'm wait. So, <laughs> so uh, Uncle Bill knows how to how to put. Uh... Well, he yeah. knows how to work on PC. I don't know how well he is with laptops, but he oh. knows how to work on PCs, and he has a way better understanding of them. The only good so... thing, TJ, when it comes to speakers. Is it a Mac? Uh, it's a Mac, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, right. That's your first problem. They're pretty much simple to do because it's just a case of flipping up a little lid, taking out the old one, putting the new one in, shut the lid, done. Yeah. Oh. But if if they don't know what they're doing and they have to take something else out, you could really screw up your computer. Yeah, because when I ordered when I ordered the speakers, it come it it came it comes with um two like screwdriver looking things. Yes, yeah, so you'll need them to lift the little catches up. Yeah, well, but like I said, I I wouldn't have anybody touch that unless they really understand computers. Just give Bill a call. Bill builds his own computers, so we'd be all right. Just call Bill and ask him if he can do it on a laptop. And yeah. Max, and Macs are, I would say, compared to a uh, uh, like a Windows laptop, they're a little harder to work on. Oh, well, Macs, yeah. Actually, Macs are easier to work on. They just the possibilities of damaging something else because everything is all clipped in rather than soldered in. Oh. Yeah. So you could just knock one little thing and poof. Yeah. I wouldn't even open a Mac. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Tim. I wouldn't open one either. I would. I would. I would contact Bill and just ask him yeah. if you could run All down right. to his house one day and do it. Although at the moment Bill's poorly. Oh no, but he could set something up for like in a week or so. He could run down there and, mm. and meet up with him, and he's not busy. But then yeah. again, he, he has just finished building that one for that. 
the son of the woman that works for him. How long is uh? How far is Bill from you? He's like what an hour or so. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's not that long of a drive. It should probably take you about an hour or so to get to him. I'm just, I'm just saying, be very careful, bro. Right. Because right. Ma MacBooks aren't cheap neither. If you break that fucking MacBook, dude, if you had to go buy another one, you'd be looking at a minimum fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. They're super I expensive. Yeah, I don't think I have that kind of money right now. <laughs> and, he, and you don't want to waste your money buying one that's like five years old, right? Like, yeah. Then you're just wasting your money at that point. <laughs> even a good, even a good gaming laptop, you're looking at fifteen to two thousand dollars. <throat> Holy shit! For, yeah, for, right for a Windows laptop. <clears throat> but I mean, even the brand new MacBooks, dude, they're five grand. The brand new ones that just came out with the M3 chip, you're looking at five, six thousand. Oh, I think so. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those things my, are fucking my expensive. My MacBook Pro, I what is it? It's a 2010, so it's 14 years old. Cost me 200 pound. And apart from the speed of the chip and the memory, everything else gets updated automatically anyway. Talking. Yeah, don't everybody talk at once you now. Everybody's all quiet ever since yeah, Keith showed up. Yeah, I'm quite glad about that. I thought, what the hell is going wrong? The million's gone quiet. It just... I it does that. Every now and again, it just randomly goes dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then Paul comes on and goes, right, I'll call it. And we're all like, what? what, 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 what <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to stay on as long as you guys want. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, we're only until great. Saturday, aren't we? There you go. <laughs> you. Hey, David, don't say anything you don't mean. <laughs> well, I got seven hours to kill, so hey. There you go. <laughs> there well, you David, go. David, David go? we'll stay Where right here go? with you, Tim. Oh, we know you won't stay that long because you'll be like, there's a ship coming. Bye. No, <laughs> there's no ships. <laughs> The Not locks a... aren't open until Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then we Is there like through. maybe like one or two that come through during the middle of the week? During the week? Well, yeah, tankers because they go to the uh, the oil refinery in Sarnia. Oh. But there's only many, so many times you can uh, That's the oil right. tanker. <clears throat> exactly. Then look, I'll be able to watch Ghostbusters 3 this weekend. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Is I this the one where they... Um... It comes out on Friday here. Yeah, that's the new one with, uh, Bill, with Bill Murray. Yeah. Is yeah. that in the cinema or on DVD? It's yeah, it the new Ghostbusters? It yeah, it, the, it comes out in the cinema on Friday. It's, oh, it's, it's, like, it's called uh, Ghostbusters World. It comes, it comes out on like like TV whenever they put it on. And Bill Murray's on there, plus the other guy. What's the other guy's name? Um, Dan Aykroyd. Oh, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. yeah it's going to be uh, oh, December when it comes out on uh, Sky. Yeah, but IPTV will probably have it over the weekend. Yeah, I can't. I can't use IPTV. Hey, John Coopy, it's good to see you, my friend. Coopy, hello, John. Christy, is Kitchy in the chat? Oh, hey, Kitchy. Well, it took a long time for her to be upgraded. Paul, the Indiana Harbor is oh, on yeah, its way. Yeah, I know it's down in Detroit. 
that's about it. That's about a seven hour voyage if it gets there. But if you notice, when you look at it, David, it's only doing seven or eight knots. And usually down there, they're doing 10 or 12 knots. Must be against the tide then. No, what it is is they're dra dragging their feet. All right. They're yeah, what they, do, what they notice now is what they do is they drag their heels until they get just round the corner for Paul and they put the full burners on and go, bye! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Dave, David, if you've, if you've got marine traffic up, you'll see up the thumb there, so there's a ship up there. That's the one I did earlier today, and it's only gone, normally it's about four hours to where it's at. And it, that was like it six or seven hours ago. Yeah, get, she said it stopped. It stopped for fuel in Detroit. Get, she's guessing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's got me that's monitoring. It's Gitchy. Gitchy, Gitchy. And the Joseph block is heading up. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what he said. What I said? I said it took a long time for him to up update that program for to get back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Those speakers that you bought, TJ, were, were those like considered aftermarket upgrades or were they just replacement ones? Stock uh, replacement. I think they were replacement because I think they were like 20, 20 something bucks. Okay. Not yeah. bad. <clears throat> it's not a mega loss if you have to uh, take it into I'll show you guys the Great Lakes. There ain't much going on. This is the one that went by here earlier, and it's only up here. That's about 20, 40 miles north of us. It has all go. Nothing over here in Lake Michigan. And here's the locks are closed here, and the locks are closed up there. So. So where's the sea then? Well, according Here. to this day, about 80, 80 to 100 miles to the east or something. All right, yeah. There's all the ships on the ocean. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of boats. Yeah. Can't park there, Damn, mate. That is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. But, but you, you know what's so funny about that is as vast as the ocean is, even though that looks like a glob, dude, those boats don't see each other for probably half of them would never even see each other. I was trying to figure out why there were no boats on the blue, but the blues land, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. The bit of a problem if you see one on land. Look at yeah. the east looking on the east coast of the US, oh, Jesus. God. Down Paul, by the did, you did you sell your did you sell your Mavic Air 2 to uh John? Uh, he hasn't had that in a long time, so yeah, it's been a while. I'm surprised there's so many out towards. Um, well, well, what you, what you go, if you go down here and you can take a look at them, you can tell what they are. Okay, so let's go down here. And uh, okay, the blue ships are all big cruise ships. There's Carnival Freedom right there. I clicked on it. So you go the, to red, the, the red ships are tankers. The green ships are cargo. Go look at the Horn of Africa, how cluttered that was. Jesus. Yeah, because that they're was... all um, they're all coming that way because of the uh, problems. I forgot what country it is. It's the uh, locks and uh, the ones that... Um, it's, they're not Iran. going through the Red Sea. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, oh. yeah, it's the ones that uh, Egypt controls. Yeah, but it's because of what country it is that we just bombed. Palestine. No, not Palestine. There you go. Look at there. Iraq. No, Yemen. Yemen. 
<laughs> there's still mean? a lot of shit. I'll tell you what, though. There's still a lot of ships going through there. Yep. Through the here's, here's, here's the Suez Canal. And this is just going up into, uh, into different ports. You notice you don't see any bright blue cruise ships. <laughs> yeah, but all of them off Yemen. You wouldn't yeah. think there'd be that many there, would you? Be the yeah. 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 Is there many around the UK? The Isle of Wight ferry. Yeah, still. Yeah, there's quite a few there, isn't there? There's the UK. Hey, Mark, look at that. Loads of them on land. <laughs> there's the, there's the, the Stena Europe right there. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, cruise ships across the uh, Thames and uh, line. out to the. Um, up the North Sea. Yeah. Well, look at all that space out there towards after Ireland. Look how empty that is. Iceland, yeah. So so not, many, not many in the Arctic. No. Nope. Quite a lot coming out of Fleetwood area. Yeah. Anybody, cool. anybody can look at that. That's a free app. It's called uh, uh, MarineTraffic.com. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Marine Traffic. Yeah. Yeah. There's an aeroplane one as well, if anyone's interested. Yeah. Seemed to be bunched up around that center line of the screen as well. There weren't much in the north or the south. Yeah, that's often the case. They're all meeting up for an orgy out at sea. They're all going round the equator because it's warmer. It doesn't. It doesn't do it. They're showing that clip of that couple on the beach that got arrested, and yeah. the stupid guy standing there. He's standing there, my, you know, standing there in handcuffs. He turns around and takes off running. Like, where the <laughs> hell do you think he's going to go in the sand? <laughs> in handcuffs, too. <laughs> in handcuffs. He got about five steps and fell down. <laughs> my, my son, what is it? Where are you going? <laughs> where do you think you're going? So oh, did you read what John said in the chat, Paul? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. I'm trying to think of Walk. something funny to say. <laughs> In Ukraine, though, the Red Sea, the Israel, and all the rest of that. <laughs> God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> do, do you ever get in a laughing gag when you're on the toilet? <laughs> oh yeah, that came out fine. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, squish, 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 squish. That was good. That was good. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> hey, Dave, David, you can join in. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave this to TJ. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> That's funny. I think TJ's got this one covered. Hey, Dominic. That was pretty good. That was good. <laughs> Uh, that was Dominic's funny. on the tram or something. Look at the going behind him. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. He never sits down, does he? On no. the no, he, up. he always stands, like holds holds the holds the the thing. Holds uh, his thing? Oh wow. Oh, yeah, wow. he holds his oh, thing, wow. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's always got that same look on his face too. I bet he I bet the girls are just dying for him to pick them up. <laughs> He's looking at us as if to say, what about that miserable gets on there? Can I ask you? That's funny. Uh, that's hilarious. Dominique, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. I don't think you can hear it at all. <laughs> Dominate, your head's on fire. There's a spider crawling <laughs> on your head. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a grumpy old man, doesn't he? I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's funny. Oh, that uh, was E and F. I think we come to the conclusion, TJ. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I might check the news today. Bluetooth must have disconnected. Oh my god. Speak speaking of the news, shit. What a morning we had. Well, what happened? Well, okay, so we 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 met up we, we went flying this morning. We went to um we met it uh, in the public's parking lot because there was a water tower and then there's train yep. tracks or something. It was myself, Al, Ray, and Ken Gottlieb. And Ray's a, Ray, Ray, Ray's a big supporter of Trump, but Ken Gottlieb is not or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they started and he had a uh, Ray had a. Um, a, a Trump hat in his in his car and he got it down and started waving it in Ken's face and stuff and Ken's a <laughs> Trump supporter and man they, they just got into it and there was like all this arguing and words were said and everything it was just like one big catastrophe I was like oh my god the, the whole morning got ruined just because of like that and Ken, Ken goes wait you're, you're, you're a cop you're an ex-cop Da, 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 and starts going off on him and all this stuff about Trump talking about when when he gets back in the he's gonna let he's gonna let all the let all the Ken um, who Ken, Ken Gottlieb I don't know who that is yeah I don't he, know who he is either I I think he goes by uh like Palm 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 Beach Aerials on YouTube he's living but, in the wrong state if he doesn't like Trump. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's in the wrong nation. He, he, he's an anti-Trump. Anti, uh, well, he might Trump. be anti-Trump, but is he's not pro-Biden, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think he's more like on the Biden side, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, 
It's a German name that means love of God. <laughs> and and, he, and he's also he's also Jewish too. Mark, you know they How send... can you be Jewish and support Biden when Biden's what plan is mm -hmm. to let Israel die? Uh, I, no. yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think because he was talking about something uh, when Trump gets back in office, he was going to let all the oh, I forgot what the hell he said. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you got it mixed up because the only one that's letting all the criminals into this country is Biden. Yeah, that's that's I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. I, think, I, think I, up, I don't know. It was one or the other. I don't know, but stuff got blown up and it was oh, well, a crazy morning. It yeah. yeah. Change your subject a minute. Mark, you know the uh, case of the funeral directors in Hull? Uh, yeah. Well, the reason it's all kicked off, it all, all came about, is a guy was giving his wife's ashes Four days before a cremation. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit tricky. <laughs> so uh, that's why the police have gone in, gone in and found all them extra 30 odd bodies that had apparently already been buried. Oh, mm. shit. I hate when that happens. Hey, TJ, you, you might want to get over to uh, the Art Co's live show. He's giving away food. Oh, yay. Free <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> free food. Carl, he, free he's hat. giving away his uh, corn and all kinds of things. Uh, is he giving away his taffy? He normally gives away his yep, taffy. Giving away taffy too. Taffy. DJ, go and see if you're giving away a free hat. <laughs> free hat. <laughs> free hat. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves a free hat. Everyone loves a free hat. Ew, what the hell? Oh, Ray's live too. Yeah, Ray did a <laughs> live stream. He's done now. Oh, is he? Yeah. He came on at six. Well, it's still showing he, he's live, but... Well, if you look at when it says it's live, you read the bottom, it says streamed six minutes ago. Yeah, he just got yeah, off. Ray. Ray and Johnny alternate uh, now. Uh, yeah. I see the little um the little red thing on the on the side of the of the names and stuff, so Ray stopped doing Mondays and started doing Wednesdays every other week. And then Johnny does it every other week. What are you up to, Joe? I'm eating a salad. Oh, salad, salad. <laughs> yeah, salad. What kind of dressing? Italian, spicy Italian. Spicy. Oh, I know. I knew it. He eats everything spicy. TJ, burn, uh, burn, uh, burn, uh, burn your insides out. Trousers, uh, uh, t-shirt. Uh, Captain Joe eats, eats uh, spicy stuff. Oh boy! <laughs> he was showing bottles the other day. It was so hot he couldn't even touch them. Look at oh, there, Lord. there. <laughs> Triple X. Triple X. And then I got this one. You'd put one of those little drops on your tongue and you curl your toenails. Oh wow, that's that looks uh, pretty spicy. Got this one. Yeah, this one right here. This Melinda's. It's, it's triple X. That thing triple will X hurt you. Right there. Ooh. Ooh -wee. It'll get your attention. Joe's son had a <clears throat> had a he had a, a car chase last night when he was working. That was it was actually yesterday afternoon. About yesterday afternoon. Yeah. About three thirty. TJ, TJ so. likes car chases. <laughs> oh yeah, those are always fun. When he when he was a little kid, he used to chase the car in the neighborhood. <laughs> wait, wait for me, wait for me. 
<laughs> my son said, "Yeah," he said, "I, I was chasing the guys the way they looked and the way the, the way they did the hoodies and the way they were slumping down in the seat and then they took off on me." He said they rolled and they took off. He said, "I figured I finally get to shoot somebody." <laughs> That's what he was thinking. <laughs> You're thinking we're gonna be, this is going to be a shootout. They got they got away though because they had to break off the the the, uh, the pursuit per per his supervisor, Chief. and then sure. they, they ditched the car and it was full of drugs and everything else. Everything. It's all right. They're gonna they'll be back. They'll be back. Somebody will get them. Jesus, I'll clear all this shit out of my computer file. Well, I'll delete that. <coughs> delete that. Thank Oh. <laughs> I thought this was serious. For... <laughs> so I'm 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 watching a art show and uh, Ronnie Ronnie goes he get uh, God bless America he was like we went into Walmart the other day and a blind guy, a blind guy, a blind guy was swinging his German Shepherd by his tail. When asked what he was doing, he replied, just looking around. <laughs> Very funny. So, What'd you say, Dom? He said, Very funny. Oh, he was using it. He was using his undercover voice when, hey, man, tell me. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 uh. Well, Justin, what are you up to? Nothing at the moment. Just deleting shit out of my computer. Cleaning out, cleaning the house. I got all this sh fucking oh. pictures. Well, of I've, shit never, I've never heard that before. That does sound pretty good. I, I love oysters. I've never heard of a manatee oyster before. Well, uh, deleting a load of stuff so that uh, okay mud balls off over over to see art Laura can fill it all back up again just a lot of pictures I've downloaded over the last brother brother Ken headed over there too Ken Jonathan all right let me go to recycle band what's up Jonathan Wow, dang, wow, dang. Well, shoot, you got to be careful with Captain right now. He's got a good hip. He could have kicked him. So, so it was Ray that was arguing with him? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Ray and Ken, yeah. Well, I wouldn't see Ray, like, getting that aggressive about it because, like, Ray's pretty usually pretty chill. Yeah, he's pretty chill. He must have said something that kind of got under his skin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty chill till all of a sudden something stupid happens. Somebody gets real stupid. All right, so wait. I have six. I have six. Why is our two And oh. they had one a piece, and my mother had one. How many yeah. people? Are in my family tree. All right, I gotta write this shit down. Four. You have six. What? So okay, so he has has six. Stop. 
four okay. cats, two humans. There's only two people four. in the family tree in that case. Four, yeah, four cats. We're him four. Uh, Why is hard to stream it? Because hmm. he's going every that. every other week, uh, opposite of. Um, and they had one opposite, opposite of. Uh, yeah, Ray and Johnny are doing alternate weeks now. Right. But Bill's not going on the night, so he's going to go on. Bill's not going. That's going to be Bill. Fourteen. Yeah, it says it's not. It says not the drone therapy show. Yeah, that's uh He's doing a show instead of Bill because Bill's still recuperating from his op. Yeah, no, this this was Jonathan. This was Ken Gottlieb. I don't I don't think you've ever seen him or or I don't think you've ever seen him before. He goes he goes by uh he goes by Palm Beach Aerials on uh on YouTube. This is a different Ken, not not uh Ken Heron or Ken Any Dono or Brother Ken or <laughs> Cigaro's uh, YouTube channel will be like Trump 2024. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Palm Beach Aerials, you said? Yeah. And it's he's uh, got it's it's a uh pink it's a pink a pink logo uh with a P with a P in the middle. I just want to see it. That, that explains uh, a lot. He, he 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 flies the I think he's got the um the uh the orange the orange drone the um oh, it's the oh, uh what's that the uh, what's that the orange one um Auto, I, can't, CJ. Auto. I can't find this channel here I'll, uh, let me see if I can find it you got an orange drone to auto Our, orange is auto yeah that's it I'll tell yeah <clears throat> Oh, Palm Beach Aerial Photography. Yeah, I got to put the photography in there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Just with these long-ass fucking channel names. <laughs> uh, uh. You don't even have a freaking logo. Yeah, it's it's a pink it's pink background with a white P on it. Pink and yeah, white? That's just, that's just something that YouTube put there if you haven't got an avatar. Yeah. Yeah, he has he has a uh, he has a small channel. Is he a little light in his loafers or what? Oh, he's yeah. really small. He's only got twenty seven subs. Yeah, when did he so start? I figured out why the train train bridge was down and nobody was coming over it today. Uh, they got the train bridge just now. They're all working on it. They got people working on it. Oh, well, they got the train bridge under under uh, demo. Uh, not demolition, but repair or something, or what? Well, they're doing something. They got a big sheet over the front of it, and it, I couldn't even see that from the monitor. He's yeah, when I, was uh, lying, I couldn't see it. His first video was from ten months ago, so but he's been on YouTube since two thousand nineteen, I think. Hmm. It's hard to go by people's how long they've been on YouTube because some people have been watchers for years, and then oh yeah. I mean, I've, I've been on YouTube since 2007, but I haven't done anything on it until I started on drones a couple of years ago. All right, let, let's see. Let's see if we can. All right, so I, I I wrote I wrote this out and I came out with four. I came out with fourteen. I don't know if that. Come I don't here. know if that's right. He's. <laughs> Jonathan, he goes. I have, I have six. Want a treat? Four, four cats, two humans, and they had one a piece. So that would be yeah, two. Four. And my mother had one. How many people? I have no. I, he's he has no videos Seven. with him running. TJ. So. You don't count the cats. Don't count the animals. Oh, oh, you don't count the animals. Yeah, yeah. Well, unless unless you're 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 doing a different math than I am, but 
animals are not part of your family. Yeah, I can't well, find any. I mean, pets are people too, but no, they're not. No, no they're not. <laughs> they're animals. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't find any videos on this channel. I actually have a minute, so I want to see what he looked like because I don't know if I've seen him before or not. He's a newbie. Well, there is one thing I've noticed about the drone community, though, is they I mean, definitely been, tend I mean, to be more good, Republican, for Ken, sure. Ken's got a he's got a couple of videos on his channel, so. Well, I'm saying I like I, I've noticed that about the drone community, though a lot of the guys seem to be more on the Republican side. So he's going to yeah. run into a lot of that being in the drone community. You might that's like probably, to see a that's probably of why he's not around. Video. Do what? I said, I said that's like probably why he's not around much. On Ray's video. He's on Ray's video? If Ray's posted where they were at today, then probably he's not after that. Yeah, he he didn't he didn't he didn't Ray didn't include include him in any of his uh his like videos it. this morning. Cause and then uh Ray got mad and left and went to go fly somewhere else and then the three then the three of us just went for breakfast after that. Is that pl place where there's the level crossing for the train across the road? Oh yeah, yeah. We 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 had so we saw the train like twice and we missed it both times. Well, and Jonathan, I don't mean that necessarily they're Republican. They just have they have more of the like yeah, conservative pro, view. They're they're more of like pro guns, anti woke, like that kind of mentality where. Not all left, but there's some that are very far left that that have the you know they're all up with the woke culture culture and all that stuff. And the I've noticed a lot of the drone community tends to be more right viewing kind of values than like far left type values. And that and that's what that's why it's not good to talk about politics and what and religion and stuff in the in the drone community because. No, everybody not talk about it full stop shut up tj no. <laughs> well, that, well no i actually like i said if you talk to a majority of the guys in the drone community most of them will agree with you on your, a lot of your views it's yeah. uh it, there's a few of them though that are on the other side um no star but like i said it, unfortunately he's gonna run into a lot of that in the drone community yeah not but necessarily what, be Trump but, supporters, but, but just, he's going to... Why, why do you care what he's going to run into? Let him run into the wall if I, he wants to. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't care that he's going to run to. I'm saying, I'm, I'm not talking about people who support Trump. I'm just saying he's going to run into a lot of people that have that right view mentality, more conservative mentality. <clears throat> Especially in Florida. Yeah. So I say he's in the wrong fucking state if you don't like Trump. If he's that diehard and hates Trump and all that, he's in the wrong damn state. <laughs> he might yeah. he might as well move to California and New York. So, uh, yeah, it was um Yeah, pr pretty rough morning this morning, I tell you. <laughs> no, and the thing is, is this People need to stop shy away, stop shying away from talking about politics. It's just they need to keep a level head when they talk about it. Yeah, because exactly. people people get too fucking upset and they can't. Yeah, and he, they, he, they he get super pissed. He, his his head was hot this morning for sure. I mean, I wasn't there. He I didn't see what was going on, but should Ray have? flung his hat in front of the dude's face probably not but like i said i wasn't there so i don't know what was said but definitely yeah. doing stuff like that isn't always a good thing to do neither no <clears throat> i mean he i guess like yeah like like you said ray i shouldn't have done that but he was doing it you know just to i guess be funny and he thought he thought he could take a joke i mean he can't he can take a joke but ray i don't know 
but you're you're right and i and i said the same thing like you're saying like he it, he was wrong for for doing that because i guess ray, ray wanted to get under under uh ken's skin for a little bit or just kind of bust his chops or whatever but he took it too seriously and um yeah yeah it is what it is unfortunately that happens yeah DJ, what are you making for dinner? Uh, I ate already. I had some uh, macaroni and cheese. Ah. Yeah. I had pizza for dinner. Justin, nice. had, did, did you uh, pineapple pizza or what? No, we just got pepperoni and cheese. Dude, that's my that's my favorite. I love pineapple on pizza. <sighs> Paul oh, Murray for president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul Murray for president. Shit, as frustrated as Paul gets over little things, I don't know if that'd be a good job for Paul. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, the damn nuke button's not working. What the hell? Hey, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan called me today while I was sleeping. Uh, yeah. Actually, you could say, Paul, an apple rule. Yeah. You said this is the cold. Yes, but mm -hmm. not that cold. Too late. <laughs> yeah, Paul, Paul be looking in his little black book for the nuclear codes. Oh, damn it. I know I wrote them in here somewhere. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. it. Just turn it on and off. <laughs> Get halfway through a presidential meeting with the world powers and go, well, I think I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay, got, David. It was funny, but not that funny. Yeah. Paul, <laughs> Paul's like we got. By the way, Paul, Paul things, Paul. You yeah, know. just tell him. Back off. You don't like it. Back off. It's my channel. No, no oh, what? Yeah. What if? If I was going to be David, I'd say. Pack it in. <laughs> pack it pack it up, pack yeah. it in. Let and if you're gonna be Laura, you go it's check it's your better. messages and it'll all of them have a message saying fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm I, I don't know Laura you. Fever. What's oh, that DJ? I said jo Jonathan said li little llama for vice president. I'd vote for her if she ran. Well, for fuck's sake, then she would CJ. <laughs> David's been trying to get us run for years. No, I haven't. Right? Me. What sort of sadistic <laughs> sort of person are you to think you could inflict Laura on everybody? You yeah, can then. see her coming out of the door of number 10 and going, listen, guys, the whole of the UK, check your fucking messages. I'm off. I didn't mean run like that. David, I meant run away <laughs> she'd make a mandatory everybody watch at least 10 tiktoks a day <laughs> <laughs> no no american tuckety ticks what was that laura <laughs> oh yeah the tiktok ban would definitely not get signed on her desk <laughs> what, what, what 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 would i what would i uh what would i be jonathan what, what would i be you have laura for vice president dominic for homeland security then David for customs. What, what what would I what would I be? David for customs. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, Dominic and customs. David are not American. <laughs> what would <I'll> TJ be? <laughs> Give Disney to <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, Justin, if you want to, if you want to keep going out, should turn it over to you, my man. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> because my uh, my hips killing me from sitting in this chair, and I can hardly walk, and I need to go over and stretch. No, you're fine. You can go. Okay. Fair enough. Just Fair make enough. me house so I can end it. All right. Right, then, let's wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later, Paul. Right. Okay, hey guys. Bye, uh, Paul. Sorry about that, but I, you know, I'm old sorry. age is catching up with me. Just make sure you sit on something comfortable. Yes, well, I, I have like one of the, I have a 
power lift chair, you know. Oh uh, yeah. Put put a, put a heat put a heating pad on. Yeah, either that or I'd be like TJ, just rub it, rub it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my impression of Paul as president. All right, we have 28 million watching. We're gonna go ahead and call it. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I think i'm gonna call it as well so oh See good I was, about, I was about to go on a yeah. power trip and boot you anyway so okay then. <laughs> uh, uh, Dominic. Okay. oh my bob oh uh. I like how he says give Disney to TJ. It's not even a government agency. It's a theme park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Maybe. You know, let, let it let everybody in for free. <laughs> I'll take the botanical gardens. How did we go from <laughs> from government positions to now just whatever? <laughs> <laughs> How do we not talk about the bad thing? Come on. So you work tomorrow, TJ? Yeah, I I didn't I didn't see the schedule on the uh on the app, so I had to call the store just to make sure if I was on the schedule because I had put in for the twenty second through the twenty eighth because my mom and aunt are coming over to help me organize get the house back in order or whatever and then i put in for the uh the south florida drone meetup in uh april so hmm. yeah, at, you at, 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 at first taking too much time off tj too yeah. much time hey i i had the hours so i was like fuck it i may as well you know you, well, you if you got the vac time. yeah if you got the vacation time might as well yeah but first, my boss was, I don't know, I guess he was kind of like jokingly, I don't know if he was like kind of being an ass about it or whatever. Like he, he said he wasn't going to give me my time or he was going to like delete my time or whatever. But I, I think, it, I don't know, I think he might have been joking or whatever. But then like, the other day, then, he, then the other day he was like, he was like, TJ, I'll go ahead and get, I'll, I'll approve your time, even though I shouldn't or whatever like that. I was like, the hell? Why are you saying a, a a dick thing like that, uh, like uh, Tim. We were talking about fantasy positions. That's something you can just take now if you want. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you can just have that position you, already. <laughs> the worst, the worst. You don't need a special you qualification. Automatically get holiday time, or do you have to work. No, you have to, to build you, it up. You have to build it up. God, that's not good. And then we if have an we have an automatic allowance here. Um, I mean, if you were like in a high paying oh. job, you probably would get that. Um, but your normal everyday job, no, you got to work for it. And then if you're part time, it even takes longer to build up hours. Like, but if you're full time position, usually you can build up a couple hours a week, and then. Uh, most jobs you'll get anywhere as a new new employee you might in a year's time you could probably build up about two weeks worth of vacation time and then if you're uh, somebody that's been with the company for like 20 years you might get a m couple months worth because uh, you the longer you've been with the company usually the more hours you can accrue per week the longer you've been with them well bear in mind that i only work a five day week, seven hours a day, so thirty five oh. hours a week. I uh, when I finished, I had thirty four days a year annual leave. What one is? Plus bank what, holidays. What do, you, what, what do you do for a living, Mark? I worked for. I was a civil engineer working for the local council. Local oh. Government. But what do you, what do you do now? Retired. Oh. Exactly what he's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There but we're also on flex time, which, like, I had to work 35 hours a week. So that's 140 hours in four weeks. 
if I worked 154 hours in those four weeks, those extra 14 hours went into the next four weeks as two days off. Oh, so hell no. You, they'd never do that over do you, here. Do you, do so you that's, still, an extra 20, that's another 26 days a year off. Do you still work even though you're retired? No. No? no? Oh. Because some, I think some people do that. They still work when they're retired. Oh, they just go uh, get another job. They retire from one and get another one. Yeah. We're yeah. falling down and have a work. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. I got so, a, I mean, got a full When I was with my ex, we used to go <laughs> over to the Seychelles during the kids' school summer holidays when Danielle was off school. So we'd fly over to the Seychelles for six weeks. Yeah, some some people like to work and forever, and then some people retire, and they really would just want to retire and be done. Oh no, that was while I was working. You oh no, I'm just six, saying, in general. You people take six weeks retire. holiday. In, oh, in one dude. Go. No, dude. They would. Most companies over here would never allow you to take that long. They might let you get maybe two weeks if you're lucky. But yeah, you'd know, most companies are not going to let you take six weeks off. Even oh, if yeah. you have the vacation time, they'll make you break it up over a year's time. You take six weeks from July, middle of July till the end of August. See, when I was working That's for That's when the kids have the summer holidays on school. When I was working for Walmart, if you were full time and you were like a twenty year associate, you would accrue up to three hundred and fifty hours a year. But if you didn't use it at the end of the year, they would buy you down to eighty. So they would but they would pay you for all those they hours. Pay your bonus for the hours you're not taking. Right. right. You got paid your normal hourly per hour, and then they would buy you down to eighty hours, and then the eighty hours would start over, roll over to the next year, and you would accrue it again. Because there were some employees that were 20-year associates that would never take a vacation. And at the end of the year, they'd get a big fat-ass check. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because they would get mm -hmm. like 200 and some hours all on one check. They'd get yeah. this huge check at the end of the year. And then there were some people that were taking vacations once every month. They would be gone for, you know, every month they'd take three or four days off. Um, it just really depended. And then some people would save it for if they had to go out on leave, a medical leave or something, they'd use it then. Uh, well, that's that's not included in your leave. If you're off sick, you're off sick, and you get paid for that as well. Yeah, you can get sick time. You get sick time too at some companies, but mm. like I said, if you're if you're out though, like for months and months, they're not going to keep paying you unless it's working, Scott. So if like you got injured oh. at work. And that's why you're out. Then they'll have to pay you to be out. When when my eyesight went back in that Christmas 1999, I was off work on full pay for six months. How'd you lose your eyesight? And how do you fly drones if you can't see? I can see. <laughs> oh, I, TJ, I can't, see, I can't see details. I've got retina damage in both eyes. Yeah, TJ. Uh, he lost his eyesight because he put him on the sofa and he just rolled off. Yeah, fuck knows where he went. Wait, his eye, he, he lost his eyesight. Put him on the sofa, they rolled off, rolled onto the floor, disappeared. Probably, uh, under, uh, probably under the sofa somewhere, but you never know. Uh, 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 might, have been up, might have gone up the Uber by now. It's one of the side effects of having diabetes, TJ. Uh, but it Mark screws just, your eyes up. That's what my that's what my uh, dad died from. He died from uh, diabetes. He had um, diabetic he had, coma. He had high blood pressure and uh, didn't take care of himself physically, and uh, had um, yeah, diabetes and had poor eating habits and shit like that. So it can fuck your kidneys up. It can screw with your heart. Yeah. Ooh. Feeling in the in the extremities like your feet and your fingers, right? 
I was about to say, Mark, what do you do? Just put your drone on the ground and just fucking send it. <laughs> and hope it comes back. <laughs> I can see where the drone is from the screen. Right. Because I'm flying in it. I fly is it, here. Is it it's long distance that you have trouble seeing? Reading the words and the numbers on the screen, that's the hard part. Okay. So I have to bring the controller up to oh. my face and use a magnifying glass to read it. Okay. It was like Neil when Blind Neil was in the chat the other night, and he said that he's like, I got two drones I can't use. I was like, fuck. Because <laughs> he hasn't been able to fly them in a long time. Because yeah, his last... Neil's is a weird one. He's He's got kind of tunnel vision in one eye and pretty much yeah. no vision in the other. Yeah, his has gotten worse and worse over the years. And Dan's having problems so is, again with his eyes now. He's, is, he try, is he trying to... I think he said it was his, was his, his right eye has gone squiffy. He had a problem yeah. with both of them a few years ago, and his yeah. right eye has gone squiffy again. Which, Dan? Fi uh, fix it. Oh, I didn't know he was having eye issues. Yeah, he put it on a video the other day. I didn't see oh, that. I, I didn't see. I'm about to go watch it. I didn't. I missed that. It's a bit much, Justin. Right. So talking about people's eyesight problems, and you go, I didn't see it. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, guy. Now, has it kind of leveled off, Mark, or is it getting worse and worse each year? Um, no, it's it's not too bad. It's it got yeah. bad over the first couple of years, and it's kind of been reasonably stable since then. Wait, what? Yeah. What? I, I kind yes, of yes, Jonathan. Yeah, like what? What happened with Dan? He he's having he, he's well, he he's put a video out with one of his eyes. Uh. Yeah. He put a video out a couple of days ago, so if you want to, just go to his channel and watch it. Because I don't know either. I'm going to have to go watch it and see exactly what he's talking about. Because uh, I didn't know that. A few years ago, he had a real problem with his eyesight and very nearly lost his eyesight. Let me see something, if I can find the video. It was something to do with, um, I think he said it was a bleed in his brain that fucked his eyes up. Something like that. Oh, that will do it, man. The pressure, the pressure on your brain. Yeah. yeah that, uh, let me see if I can find a video. Did he? Did he label it as that? Why did you down for the head? No, he was. He was talking about a motorbike. He was having legal problems selling or something. Oh. Uh, Legal problems sorting the title out of. Uh, it was only probably less than a week ago. Uh, Why can't I find his other fucking channel? What I fix shit? <laughs> yeah, I can't find it. I found his drone worship channel, but it's not on there. Because I put I fix sheet in, and it doesn't. Nothing comes up. Let me see if I can find it. There's in only there. only one e in it. S h e t. Ah, sure. There we go. I got it. I found it in my uh, things. <laughs> Uh, let's go to videos. Uh, oh, dealing with legal problems and health right now. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I'll put it in the chat if anybody wants to check it out. There you go. I'll have to go watch that later. <laughs> 
Yeah. Because I, I told Dan, to be honest with you, I don't watch a lot of his videos because I'm not into motorcycles. He knows that. Uh, but sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the title of the video, sometimes I watch his stuff if it's pertaining to something going on or something. But I must have missed that one. I just don't really watch the motorcycle content because I'm not into motorcycles, so it doesn't really interest me. But I've well, told I used that before. <clears throat> that was the only reason that I started watching Dan's channel was the motorbikes. Because I used to ride bikes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just. Uh, I I used to be into dirt bikes when I was really young, when I was in my teen teen years. But, um, but yeah, I'm not really. I've never been into like street bikes or anything, so I don't know a lot about them. So, uh, my considering that I stopped driving and riding back in at the beginning of two thousand. My bike is still parked up in the garage. Uh, do you go out and start it once yeah. in a while or anything, or has it just been sitting there? It's in pieces. Oh. Uh, to make well, you... sure that I didn't ride it, I took all the bodywork and the tank and the seat off it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why didn't you just sell it? <laughs> because I didn't know at the time whether my eyes were going to come uh, back. Okay. To the point where I could ride it again. Yeah, I got, I got you. I mean, do you have a lot of sentimental value on it, or two, or not really? I mean, it's a 1985 bike. Oh, zero Osborne. Yeah, a Yamaha FJ 1100. What year was you born, Justin? 85. Uh, so you were so. See, I was born in 83. So. You're two years old. just a bye bye. Yeah. So you'll be 40 next year. No, I'm only 38. Yeah, you'll be 40 next year. Not year after. Year after. This I is 2024. Next year is 2024. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't 40 think about next year. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got a birthday coming up, haven't you? Mine's not until October. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, he might be. The... Might be. I don't know. Tim's old enough to be my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so. I think. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off here for for now and. Joe's the oldest in here at the moment. Yeah. Okay. The Goodbye, TJ. We'll see y'all later. Later, TJ. Later. Have a nice time. Okay. Uh, how old are you, Mark? I'll be 65 in August. And how old are you, Joe? 60. 69. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're just bye-byes. Tim, you don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Tim, um, not You're not working today, Tim? Yeah, he's working. All right, just a late start. No, he's working right now. Yeah. he's He gets uh, he goes to work at like 5 in the morning. Yeah, I'm just so. saying, though, he, didn't he come on in an office earlier on? Or was he in his car? No, he was in his work truck. All oh, right. Which is more or less his office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I realized you had a good 15-second delay, Tim, to Google it. But, yes, it's Thursday. Uh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, what day is it? Yeah, it's <laughs> Looking Thursday. At his phone. Uh oh. That's a freaking knobhead right here. Oh, who let him in? Yeah, what's up? Dustbins get emptied tomorrow. Well, good the morning, room. Matt. The, pa the paper bins get emptied tomorrow. Call me Matt, call me Knobhead. That's my name. <laughs> Hello, Matt. I can't do that because I have to put a swear oh, word in. Hello, Matty. 
Matty. Mark, how are you, brother? I'm hmm. fine, thank you, sir. Joe, uh, Donald, Dave, how are you? I told Donald what you said that message the other night. He was laughing his ass off. Oh, did he? <laughs> By the way, Mark, did you know Matt used to live in Chorley? I did. Yes, uh, we've spoken about that before, I think. Yes. Chorley. Whew. What a place. So we have a new a 107 pilot. <laughs> I um, can't believe you would call to Matt that, Tim. Jesus. What a derogatory. Called oh, you a come on, that's not nice. I've been nothing but nice to Tim, and all he does uh, is abuse me. I won't lower to his level. The public golf course in Charlie is quite nice. Later. The what is, sorry? Municipal golf course. Oh, okay. It was covered in sleet when I was there, so uh, yeah, didn't get to do a game. You w- would have had to go out with a, a, a fluorescent orange ball if you have any hopes yes, of finding it. Yes, we've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. I had a game out on the Nullarbor, right? A place called Cook, right? Hot as all buggery. And they've got a golf course out there. Not much of a golf course. On the ninth hole, you've got to clear the cemetery to get to the hole, right? <laughs> it's it's bizarre. Yeah. It but there's good. white rocks everywhere. <laughs> Little white rocks everywhere. And you've got to use different colored balls, otherwise you'll never find it. Otherwise you'll never find them, yeah. Well, you gotta knock the ball over a cemetery. Yeah. yeah you, Could you imagine you gotta, taking out a fucking, they're just carrying the casket and you just fucking knock out a Paul Bear? <laughs> yeah, well, they've already got a hole dug, haven't they? Yeah. That's that's drag. Dude, that's or so as they, as they get, Yeah, as they get in to put the uh, coffin in, it's him on the back of head, falls in, and the coffin lands on top of him. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. right out of a movie scene right there. Just, just fucking knock him right in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen uh, that. Did you play a lot, Matt, or was it just. Every yeah, now no, and again. Yeah, every now and again, mate. Yeah. I um I whack a ball around. I haven't played for years. Years, somebody, mate. Some somebody clipped that. I managed What's... to get like one round of golf a year in now at our golf club's committee outing. One round a year. Yeah. Is that when the sun's I... out? It's <laughs> When is it? 7th of one, June, we're going to Cavendish near Buxton. That's the one sunny day in England. It is. <laughs> Not necessarily. Is. <laughs> <laughs> we can't plan it. We can't plan it like that. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, you have to make the best of it when the sun pops out. Ooh, let's go outside. Yeah, no. I'm a, I used to be the handicap chairman at our golf club. And I was a a captain and president and I'm a life member now because I don't play that much because of my eyesight. Yeah. Mm. So I always get an invite to go on the committee out in every year. Oh, excellent, man. What oh, you've been up to? And my dad man. will be the others because my dad's a past captain as well. All right. Keep it in the family, eh? Yeah. That's what she's He's 89 in July. Oh, shit. 89. That's up there, isn't it? My God. Mm-hmm. I feel 89 when I get out of bed in the mornings. He's 89 the week before I turn 65. My production crew is laughing at the moment. <laughs> They're still here. They're still sitting here. They're waiting. <clears throat> um, what have I been up to? Oh, not much, mate. Um, working. Sitting around doing bugger all. Been doing some more flying for this fella. So I'm going to do another movie now. That's coming up. So that, that'll be good. And he's going to get me to uh, to grade it for him. So that'll Was be that good. last one you did come out yet? No, it hasn't, mate. No. No. I think he's, he's just put it through to the distributors. Um. So yeah, I, I don't know how far away that is, uh, but I'm going going there on the weekend to to check out the final grade on it. Mm-hmm. Final, I won't say that. I'll just say to check the grade <laughs> out. 
Yeah, I'm sure you'll find something that needs changing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a been a bit of a road. But yeah, no, good fun. Good fun. Sorry. So, was that YouTube <laughs> calling me again? That's Sarah. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was <laughs> She swung the mic around and was like, Maddie. <laughs> I just wish it sounded like YouTube calling me all, all the time. <laughs> yes. You been flying long. much or anything or no? Yeah, flying. I haven't got done bugger all for myself. Um, that Mavic 3, man, I'll tell you, that's a great camera. Really is. Really good camera. And I've still been using the Mavic 2 as well. The Mavic 2 actually takes better still photos than what the Mavic 3 does. Yeah, everybody's <clears> still <throat> wondering what the hell that movie's called that you did. You still don't uh, know the title of it? No, I haven't even. As long as my name appears in the credits, that's all I worry about. So. Yeah. How are you going to know if you never fucking know the movie, if you don't even know what the movie's called? <laughs> well, I'll, I've seen the movie. Uh, and as I said, I'll be watching it again on the weekend. It goes for an hour 50, mate. I thought, oh, God. No, so was, it, was it actually good though or was it kind of like you felt like it was under budget um look i'm not going to say anything online no i'm just saying does it feel like a, a huge production movie or was it going to end up is it going to end up on netflix or just a local channel that's what i'm asking like is it kind of it's gonna get up there or is it just kind of something like a college film class would do or something yeah, I would I would say something like that. Yes, yeah, like yeah. a film school would do. Um, but it, it's a lot more professional than than probably that would be. Um, the the cameras they used and all that were fantastic. The Ari cameras, um, really nice, really nice footage. Um, the the actors were good. Um. How's your knee, Matt? That's Tim asks. What's up, David? Knee. Yeah, he's very concerned about your knees. You know why, don't you? Uh-uh. Tell us, please. Well, that's why he wants me to come up and see him. He wants to know if I can get on my knees. I'm not doing it, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little turd. Um, <laughs> he said you little turd. <laughs> I wants to come and introduce serenity to you. <laughs> No threesomes here, mate. Don't worry about that. Even That's though his cat. Wasn't involved. Um, my knee. Yeah, oh, look, the, the clot's gone down to seven, 17 mil was the last one a couple of months ago when I got it scanned. So that's down from 11 centimetres. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a hell of a yeah. lot. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but has it been feeling better since it's gone way down or what? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a lot better. It's a bit bit bloody sore today, actually. I woke up with a bit sore, so I put my brace on and shit, so it just stops it from wanting to swell up. So yeah, Translating for Justin, 17 mils, about three quarters of an inch. Just yeah, less than that. <laughs> mm. so about the size of your penis. I, I know what millimetres are. I got a set a standard and metric wrenches. <laughs> He's he knows what millimeters are. He's got his cock ruler. <laughs> Tim Jackson. Yeah, well Tim, oh look, look, oh look. You should see the messages he sends me during the week. He's lonely, let me tell you. Aren't you Tim? Tim's becoming striped. He's what? Sorry. Becoming striped. Striped. What yeah. do you mean by that? Cat scratches. Oh yeah, dude, the fucking cat's been scratching the fu fuck out of his hands. Mm. And getting into all those varicose veins and everything. Just. That's the cat saying, "Don't touch me there." <laughs> Oh dear! Look, he's being nice to me, really. How's your knee, Matt? And then I just keep fucking into him. Oh, I never message you. <laughs> oh. 
okay, we'll go with that, shall we? He never messaged me. All right, no, he ne he never contacts me. Oh, Tim. Well, not Messenger. He texts you. There's a difference. Uh, absolutely, there is. Yeah. yeah. Keep sending me these pictures. What's AI um, companion? What is that? Oh, what it does is like during the show, it, it like literally does a like it writes out everything we say. Oh, really? And then you can go back and read it later. I don't know why you'd want to go back. I mean, it, sometimes it actually writes out some funny shit, though. But um, so you yeah, mean it's like a chat for the panel? Yeah, I guess if you were doing business stuff, it would be good for it taking. Takes it's like it takes notes. Yeah, it it's a pile of crap to be honest. It, it can be funny, you know, with some of the shit it comes out with. Yeah, because it will misunderstand some people, and then it will like yeah. write out what it thinks you said, and it's yeah. awesome. so, like it, you can be talking about something, it'll come up with like. And Justin said he'd assassinate the cat. Yeah. <laughs> what he, what Justin actually said was, Tim, shit. how's You'd the cat? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> now she texts me from around the corner. It's called a reach around, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's called transcript, Justin. There you go. He must have just Googled that. Yeah, well, they, that's why I said, you know, all the people in the chat think they're smart, but it's just a 15-second delay so they can Google shit. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You'd be like, what is the third line on the Magna Carta said? And then, they'll, you know, they'll be on there. Yeah. <laughs> and you know. And then they put it in the chat like they knew that all right off the top of their head. <laughs> I know yeah, it was I... written in the year 1200 and something. General knowledge questions, really. <laughs> General. <laughs> what time? What, well, I guess, you I guess it? it's like our equivalent of your Bill of Rights. Uh, well, what is it? Co I've never actually read it's... the Magna Carta. What is it cover? Because our Neither Bill of... anybody else. It's what's it? It's a charter of the rights of the people. Mm. Yeah. But like you a... said, it it's from about the year twelve fifteen or somewhat. Twelve fifteen. Yeah, see Tim put it in the chat. You know damn well he Googled that shit. Like how many <laughs> sheep and goats you were allowed to own kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, the Magna Carta was issued in June twelve fifteen. And was yeah, the first the document thing... to put into writing the principles that the king and his government was not above the law. Right. The only thing Tim knows about 12.15 is that it's lunchtime. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so that what, to prevent what... the king from exploiting his powers and uh, place his limits it's on much... the royal authority by establishing law as the power in itself. I was just thinking that when you said that. I was like, snutch. He's having a snutch. I had a snack for lunch. Huh? Yeah, I remember when Tim said that. He goes, yeah, usually for lunch I have a snack. And Matt's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's we, a snutch. Yeah, we started calling it a snutch. <laughs> Jonathan Jackson, how are you, mate? And AZ, too. I haven't said good day to AZ. How are you? Oh, David. Yeah. Yes. Not you. The other David. And, and you see that, Matt? Same as our the constitution. The one when... When TJ was on about his speakers in his laptop. <laughs> yeah, you know, you see what Tim put in the chat? Same as our constitution, like he's American or something. <laughs> uh, you see, he, he, he's, he's Australian until he wants freedoms. And he's like, oh, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, you know. <laughs> I don't he's think like, the Australians <laughs> have got a constitution, have they? Mm. Other than Tim, for drinking beer. <laughs> Tim's in purgatory at the moment. <laughs> He's he's in between worlds. Um, he doesn't he doesn't know what he's doing, where he is. Uh, in another few years, he'll actually be in Australia longer than he lived in America. Yeah, and then you guys can have him. We're done with him after that. I was going to say, well, Australians are <laughs> foreign. It's only been there twenty years, I and mean, he's fifty-two. He's got another twelve years to go yet. 
No, if you take, you got to take his years and split them in half. So if he's 50, what, Tim's 51, right? Is he? He's been, is that yeah, it? Or 52? Is he 52? 52, I think, this year. So, like yeah, that. you would have to take that last 12 years and split it in half. And then once he passes that half mark, then he's been in Australia for longer. So he's got, what, another six years, five years, something like that? He was he was thirty odd when he about twenty years ago, wasn't it, when he got here? He would have he's been thirty two when he got to Australia. And another six years he's been in Australia for twenty six years. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You, don't, you don't half it, it's the whole twelve. It's twelve years. That's too been long. In Australia for thirty two years. That's you too long, married. Matt. You guys can go ahead and have them. I'm not waiting another twelve years. <laughs> I wouldn't be waiting. He'll have reached his retirement age. Then they'll have given him his pension. He'll come back. He'd be able to come yeah. back then. Yeah. Not, not a... with the warrants that he has now. <laughs> no, no. He, he was... claims he claims that 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 you know Interpol did a background check on him. You know, but not when you come in on a boat illegally. You know. <laughs> That, that's right. That's right. Cooped up in a container for all that time. Gives you tunnel vision, doesn't it? Six months on a boat, getting seasick in the dark. Yeah, I, I remember that live stream when you were asking him a question. He's like, I plead the fifth. And, he, and then Matt was like, oh, now you're American. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, that, that, con- that constitution stops at the border, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's I mean, where are you borders bad. these days, mate? No one knows, do they? When we watch the American programs and the cop programs and stuff like that, and it says, I'm pleading the fifth. We know what it means, but we don't know what it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> it means it's not, a, I'm not dobbing self- on anyone. Self incrimination or something, isn't it? Yeah, it means you do you if so. If you're asked by the court something, you can say, I plead the fifth, and they really can't force yeah. you to answer. So, whereas we just say it in words, I refuse to answer that on the grounds it may incriminate me. And when you say that, they think, Right, you fucking did it then, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you know, every time they have like one of those like special sessions with Congress and or the Senate, and they're like grilling somebody in a committee. You know, they're like have somebody up on the stand, and they're grilling the shit out of them. They'll just keep saying that I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I plead <laughs> yeah. the fifth. They never actually answer any fucking questions. No, <laughs> our politicians have got Politician. that down to a fine art. They just say no Haven't comment. They, <laughs> they they skirt around. Or or another one too. If they haven't got the answer, they go. I'll take that on notice and get back to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that on notice. Yeah, be like, what? What? what do you, are you wearing pants? Uh, I'll take that. I'll notice. I'll get back to you. <laughs> like it, it, it's shit. You know that they have the answers to, but they're mm-hmm. trying to avoid answering it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> hey, where's Murray? He quit, did he? Yeah, he just gave me host and left because his hip was hurting. Is it? That's what old people yeah. do. Come on, won't be long. You fucking wait. You wait, mate. It will not be long. <laughs> hey, be careful what you say. I mean, Murray's only mm-hmm. a couple of years older than Joe. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's only two years older than Joe. Yeah. Mm. Well, next minute, mate, you're going to be around the corner. You'll be going, oh, my God, it's my 50th birthday. <laughs> If I can tell you, mate, it fucking creeps along. I still remember having my 39th birthday in uh, in Canada. I was at a truck show there, Fergus, I think it's called, Fergus Truck Show in Canada. Um, and I, I had my 39th birthday there. Seems like yesterday. Unbelievable. Well, how old are you now? 54. There's a... What, 15 years ago? 15? What have we got? 14 14. years ago. Yeah, 14 years. 
And time mm -hmm. flies when you're having fun. 50 years ago, I was in a, I just joined the Marine Corps 50 years ago. Yeah, crazy, eh? Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you, day by day, it's going. But, I mean, days go quick, you know, before you know it, it's fucking sunset, you know. Especially yeah. if you're busy, there's another day gone. Um, and, and, the, and the older you get, the faster they move. They uh, do. Yeah, absolutely. If I followed your footsteps and was going to the truck stops, Tim, then that would probably be a thing. Tim likes truck stops. <laughs> Fergus, Ontario. That's the one, mate. I used to go there to see the Canadian Highlands games. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Matt, yeah. you drove trucks back in what was it, the early two thousand, early two thousands or mid two thousands? Two thousand and eight. I was doing yeah. that over there. Yeah, yeah. How um, long were you were over there for? What a year? Yeah. yeah who watched? Who watched your house while you were gone? Or you just? I had a. I had one of my mate's sons move in here. Um, uh and basically all he was doing was because my mortgage was tiny back then anyway, and I was only paying a hundred bucks a week for my mortgage. Um, and he was, he was putting a hundred bucks a week into my account. So that covered the mortgage and then all the other bills he just paid for anyway. So he looked after the lawns and all that sort of shit. <clears throat> I didn't have the pool in back then. So there was nothing to do there. So he just generally just looked after the joint. Matt came uh, back, found him in his robe and shit all laid up in his bed. <laughs> yeah mate yeah what the hell? locks were locks are changed and everything <laughs> he's a he's, yeah. he, what do they call him a squatter now <laughs> squatter with keys some of a bitch yeah you had him in there for a couple of years Murray's tenant was in there for two days and fucked his computer and tv up completely <laughs> oh god that'd do my head in <laughs> His kids came down and unplugged all the cables off the back of the telly and plugged their Xbox into it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Fuck, fucked his cable yeah. box all up. <laughs> he was pissed. Yeah, all he could get was Ebony TV. <laughs> Shit, man. He had to have the cable company come in and then they installed a new cable box and you know where that went to. Uh, Paul got a whole new controller and things and now he's all confused about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He turned it on. And to make it worse, TJ said, I've got the same controller. I can say, can you imagine TJ trying to explain how to use it to Paul? <laughs> I'm going to get Paul into Da Vinci, get him into that fusion section. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying the butt. But anyway, I've got, to roll. I've got to go to work. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump off too. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Yeah. Aww. It. Later, guys. No worries. See you boys later. See everyone in the chat. Nice to talk again. And um, I'll probably see you in my scooter on the weekend. <laughs> All right. I actually right. switched uh, streaming platforms. So I'm using Streamlabs now instead of EV okay. Mux. Okay. We'll so, see how that goes. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's based off OBS, so it should work better. So. Mm, all right. Mm. All right. No worries. Take care, all. All right. All right. Up. All right, everybody in the chat, we will catch you guys again tomorrow, and we'll see you guys again later. Bye, guys.